Well, I'm mentioning for upgradation. Well, PML appeal. Well, I'm suffering attachment for the last seven years. Well, no, Chief, uh, may I be permitted? Well, to uh, file this. Well, I'm praying for a leave to file this appeal without the certified copy. Well, the order was passed on 22nd. Well, grateful. May I seek, my lord, kindly to mention a matter, my lord. Uh, this is a public interest litigation, my lord. Uh, for inclusion, my lord, uh, there's a this matter had gone up to before the honorable appeals court, my lord. There was a direction, my lord, to get the matter listed on 12th of June. I'm a, very well. I, I'm a, I had mentioned it on last Monday as well. It did not appear till now. So I was just visiting your lordship to be taken up any order. Order is here. Order is here. My lord, page five of the order, my lord. At paragraph twelve, if your lordship kindly peruses, my lord. This relates, my lord, to illegal transportation of elephants out of the state of West Bengal, my lord. So the matter travelled before the honourable Supreme Court as well. No, no, read petition, main can. Yes, it should come here on 26. But uh, we don't know whether the order was communicated to the registry. Normally, if it is no, communicated... Also, we are also not aware, but my duty is to communicate to your lot. Monday, Monday. I'm so extremely aware. Please inform the rest. I'll, I'll, I'll serve a notice upon that. that uh, it will matter. I'll, I'll do so. Extremely obliged, my lord. Yes. <laughs> Yes. I was praying to, for leave to mention an urgent matter, my lord, hmm. arising out of a group nine matter pertaining to the elections. And I am for the appellant NHRC, National hmm. Human Rights Commission. My, my, by the impugned order, the honorable judge, my lord, has struck down our order, my lord, deploying, my lord, observers for the polls. My lord, that uh, we... Monday. Kindly takes it on Friday. Friday, there is some difficulty which you will come to know by today evening. <laughs> I so Monday we list. My kindly, my lord, uh, on Monday. Residue, my lord. Yes, residue. So Monday, Monday, my lord, kindly. Some urgency. But some precedence on Monday. Yes, yes. I'm yes. obliged. May I? First, I would tender my apology, my lord, for bothering your lordship for the second time. I have bothered your lordship yesterday evening, my lord. Now this is an extremely urgent matter. Yesterday, lordship has declined that your lordship will not take up the matter. But, but, but. Today, if my lord doesn't hear and passes an order, mm. tomorrow, lakhs of lives of the cows would be lost, my lord. Lakhs of? Lives of the cows would be slaughtered, my lord. Lakhs of cows would be slaughtered on the occasion of Bakrit, my lord. This is extreme urgency in the matter. We have filed it in the department. We have yet to get the number within the next half an hour. I will give your lordship officers a number. Your lordship will kindly take up the matter and hear it and pass whatever order. What happened last year? There were directions, my lord, of the Honorable High Court, of the Supreme Court, which says that there is not an obligatory state should take steps, that there is no slaughtering of the cows on the occasion of Bakrit. But today we, we see that slaughter that cows are being sold, it would be slaughtered on the occasion of Bakrit. Today, if the court does not come to rescue these cows, oh, my lord. We'll take it up. Uh, but I am told today is 3.30. There is a rescue. Anytime your lordships... Uh, you gives, give it at, uh, I, I will give my. I'll give you a lot. Your lordship. Uh, lordships kindly to lordship. Uh, today at two p.m. we will give a notice to the advocate general. Two. You tell the uh, our uh, additional advocate general is there. Yes, I, I will say this. Some Certainly. slaughter slaughtering of cows. He it's says there are series of matters on this. We will, we will. By this court. But those orders have been flouted. That's the reason for that coming. You should have filed a contempt. Immediately, you should have filed a contempt. No, no, we could have all... dragged that contempt now. No, I'm aware of those orders. There are several orders. We will court. come back. We'll come back. The court has been passing. But, but then, no. you mentioned the matter yesterday. Yes. We'll, I, and I'll... you know that this festival... Has been scheduled. Our... We 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 were under the impression that the court will carry, the police will carry out the order. State government state government will take steps. No, those are but today we see that happen. No? no, no, nothing. Kindly see, uh, I can see so it. This last moment business it won't work, sir. It won't work. Uh, we will come back at two p.m. Man. You know, uh, you can be rest assured. We can't pass any order at two p.m. saying that do this, do that, do that. You had sufficient time. If you had an apprehension in your mind. Saying that the uh, orders passed during last year, year before have been worked, flouted, you should have come at least 15 days, 20 days, 30 days in advance. This last minute business won't happen. With we'll, that, we'll with give, that caveat, we'll hear. We'll give the number, man. Give, give. 
praying your lordships kind leave to lordship uh, file and move one urgent uh, content petition lordship that uh, violation of your lordships order that 13 june 2000 order directing the lordship uh, state election commissioner to not to appoint lordship the contractual employees as a polling officer lordship you come at come back at uh, two o'clock lordship that other lordship. division bench is there yes lordship that lordship they're taking other matters related to the violation you of the come, same order sir, your papers not required you be present in court your lordship, lordship that uh, lordship may kindly i you please come if you don't want to come you need not come. yes your lordship may i permit to mention a matter uh, for inclusion the list this public interest litigation is you, you, filed you. for for seeking a protection to the voters who cast their vote uh, statutory right kindly your lordship the you give the letter let us see you explain the urgency urgency yes Yes, sir. I'm sorry, I'm yeah. great with my land friend. Uh, only the only thing that I'm mentioning an appeal. There's some urgency because the trial court has directed recording of a second FIR, uh, which is not permissible, as your lordship knows, not, against certain police officers. But I would be. I I know your lordship's list is very tied up, my lord. Today it is not. No, no, possible. not today. I would say if it's possible tomorrow, if not on Wednesday, because Monday, Tuesday, your lordship takes Wednesday, a Wednesday. Wednesday. Wednesday if I, could be on the top, my lord. Yes. May I be no, permitted? No, no. On the top, no, this matter was listed on last Friday, it's circuit bench matter. It is on the list today at, as item number one. I just want to know uh, if, if it will be taken up uh, on the second half uh, before appellate side or... Which is that matter? Uh, circuit bench item number one, my lords. From uh, Monday onwards, uh, from Monday onwards, circuit will function. My lords, I'm... Uh, my Lord, kindly... Let us see, let us see. 10.30, you wait. Huh? You sure. Yes. First thing. Right. May I permit to mention one matter, Lordship? Lordship, your Lordship uh, were pleased to grant me a leave uh, yesterday, Lordship. But Lordship, there is a grave urgency, Lordship. Lordship, the petitioner uh, is a member of the West Bengal Legislative Assembly, Lordship. And he wanted more security, more um, central forces, maximum level of central forces in part booth, Lordship. Lordship, kindly take up this matter at Friday, Lordship. Uh, and fix this matter at not Friday, Monday. We'll say Monday or Wednesday. Monday, Monday, let's you kindly fix the time, Lordship. Lordship. Uh, you give the letter, yes, sir. Malad, this matter, uh, Malad, the, it is running in the item yes. serial number 838 in the monthly combined monthly list. Malad, the whole difficulty is this, Malad, the entire adjudication proceeding in the under PMLA, uh, has been taken to the tribunal. Now, the tribunal is because the adjudicating authority said because of the interim order passed the order passed by the Leonard single judge the appeal is pending so the, the entire matter is stuck up you give we'll let us see whether we can upgrade it next week yes Malad, i have Malad, i have uh, given on notice my friend is also appearing hmm. so if on any day my lord can you please give the let, let us get the file and Malad, may have a lot of in lunges yes. but there is one appeal my lord, by the my lord, department hmm. my lord, against the under entry tax act my lord. Hmm. this is my lord, uh, state loss my lord, then my lord, appeal file that is Malad, the pending before the Malad, the Honorable Justice Manad Devangsh presiding mode by the uh, Devangsh Vashak Manad. But another appeal from the Malad tribunal status filed Malad, uh, just yesterday. yesterday Malad. Mm -hmm. If your lordships kindly take up the matter Malad, the tomorrow, then Malad, two appeals can be Malad, tagged Malad, in any, any, Malad, any of the Malad, Honorable Court Malad. It's a fresh appeal. It's a fresh appeal from the tribunal. And another appeal, uh, old appeal is Malad, uh, pending before so the Malad. On what date it will come? One day it will come? No. Monday, Friday, you, Friday is the revenue day, my lord, your lordships before. This Friday, there will be some difficulty. Tuesday, I think it will come. But I am providing the number, my lord. Hmm? Friday. Let us see. You please give the number. I'll, 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 I'll. Yes. Please call the list. My lord, with my lord's kind leave, if I may be permitted to mention this matter, my lord. It is item number 45 in the daily supplementary list. Hmm. Yet, my lord, it has been lying in that state for quite some what time. To do, sir? Yesterday, lord, the, the urgency, my lord, is that the a tower has been erected on the land of the petitioner. Yes, you had mentioned, we remember. My lord. What to do? Yesterday, we couldn't even complete six matters. Yes, my lord. We were stuck in it, item number six, five and six going on for the whole day. So, let please it, kindly... It will only be upgraded next kind, week. Kind, kindly, no, it can't be upgraded from 46. If you please wait. Hmm? Please. Thank you. Appellate side, daily list, under the heading for judgment, serial number one. Thank you. Thank you.
The repetitioner has miserably failed to point out as to what is the public interest which has been affected. And curiously enough, the state of West Bengal, which did not raise any objection to the orders passed by the Honorable Chancellor, has now towed the line of the repetitioner and outrightly supporting the case of the repetitioner and virtually stepped into the shoes of the repetitioner. Therefore, we are well justified in forming an opinion that the repetitioner has been used as a tool with a view to indirectly challenge the orders issued by the Honorable Chancellor. However, we wish, do not wish to go deep into this matter and leave it, at, uh, leave it uh, as such, as we are satisfied that there is no illegality in the orders issued by the Chancellor in favor of the private respondents herein, and a writ of co warranto would not lie. Having held so, it would be well open to us to dismiss the writ petition. However, since elaborate arguments were made by the learned counsel for the petitioner and more particularly learned counsel, senior counsel appearing for the state of West Bengal, with regard to the consultation process and the orders issued in favor of the respondents are illegal because the minister in charge has not been consulted, we examine this aspect. Then we have noted the decisions, submissions, etc. The writ petitioner does not dispute the fact that the Honorable Chancellor is the appointing authority who has powers to appoint the Vice Chancellor. There is no challenge to the power of the Honorable Chancellor in this regard, nor can there be any Chancellor uh, any challenge to such a power at, as it has been clearly laid down in the relevant enactments. Therefore, when the final decision with, is with the consulta, the manner, method, and mode of consultation has to be left with the consulta and the consultee cannot dictate terms to the consulta that the consultation has to be in a particular mode or methodology. <clears throat> As mentioned, consultation is a process which requires meeting of minds between the parties involved in the process of consultation on material facts and points to involve to evolve to evolve a correct or at least satisfactory solution. Therefore, for a consultor and a consultee to hold consultation, there should be exchange of views. If one of the parties is rigid, the question of commencing a dialogue or consultation does not arise, as one of the parties has already made up its mind. Therefore, when the consultee takes a definite stand and communicates the same to the consultor, all that the consultor can do is to take the said opinion as the final opinion of the consultee and then proceed to take a final decision in the matter. This is precisely what has happened in the case on hand. The minister in charge states that 27 persons have to be appointed as interim vice chancellors of the respondent universities, has not given any pa a panel of names to the honorable chancellor so as to initiate a dialogue, or in other words, to commence the consultation process. And the consultee 
namely the minister in charge, has taken a final decision in so far as he is concerned and has forwarded 27 names. The government of the West Bengal does not state that the panel of 27 names was a tentative panel, nor they have addressed the Honorable Chancellor that they are willing to discuss the names and matters to enable the Honorable Chancellor to arrive at an informed decision in accordance with the procedure laid down under the relevant act read with the UGC guideline. Therefore, when the Minister in charge takes a, such a rigid view, the question of the consultor, namely the Honorable Chancellor, inviting the Minister in charge for a dialogue or consultation is a fait accompli and a wasted effort as no results will emanate thereby. That apart we find from the 27 names, the Chancellor has selected two names and those professors have been now authorized to exercise the powers of the vice chancellors, vice chancellor of the respective university. This decision or action of the honorable chancellor presupposes a consultation. In other words, the minister in charge has already conveyed his views, which according to him was final, as only 27 names were furnished, along with the names of the universities to which they have to be appointed as vice interim vice chancellor. This pool of names was considered by the Chancellor and a decision has been taken by the Honorable Chancellor to authorize two out, uh, to authorize two out of the 27 to perform the duties of the Vice Chancellors of the two universities. And in respect of others, the Honorable Chancellor has taken a decision which as an appointing authority is entitled to deal with the matter. Therefore, even on this count, the petitioner has to necessarily fail. Then we refer to the letter of the Special Commissioner dated 12th June. <clears throat> the special commissioner informs the registrar of the university that legal view has been obtained and appointments for, by the Honorable Chancellor is contrary to the statutory provision apart from other procedural issues and ultimately stating that the appointments are not legally tenable. It is not clear as to whether the special commissioner, Government of West Bengal, Department of Higher Education has jurisdiction to issue such a communication to the registrar of the Kalyan University. The special commissioner is not empowered to nullify an order passed by the Honorable Chancellor. And the order dated 12th June 23rd, 2023, passed by the commission, special commissioner, is a clear inroad and interference with the exercise of the powers of the Honorable Chancellor, which needs to be deprecated. Not stopping with that, the special commissioner states, that the state government in the higher education department does not accord financial sanction with regard to pay and allowances, etc., for the position of the vice chancellor of the appointed incumbent. The letter further states not to draw the pay and allowances, etc., applicable to the vice chancellor. And there is also a mild threat stating that any non compliance will be viewed seriously. In our view, this, this direction is also absolutely without jurisdiction. It is not for the special commissioner to state that the appointment of a uh, vice chancellor cannot be accepted as valid appointment. Unfortunately, the special commissioner has not appreciated the tone, tenor, and purpose for which the order dated 31st March 2023 was issued in favor of the private respondent, authorizing them to exercise the powers and perform the duties of the vice chancellor of the respective university. Therefore, the proceedings of the special commissioner dated 12th June 2023 is wholly devoid of jurisdiction and cannot be enforced. Now I recorded the submission of the 22nd respondent. Has produced a copy of the letter of the register Maulana Abdul Kalam Azad University of Technology. Addressed to the special commissioner clearly stating that the professor has discharged the responsibilities of the office of the vice chancellor in terms of the order of the honorable chancellor. And since he is carrying out the duties of the office of vice chancellor, he will not accept the pay and allowances of the position of the vice chancellor. And draw, drawing only the pay which is entitled in the position as professor which post he has been holding prior to his discharging the functions and duties of the vice chancellor. Further, the special commissioner has been informed that the university authorities is of a clear understanding that the letter of the honorable chancellor only gives the right to the incumbent to perform the duties of the office of vice chancellor and therefore is not an appointment of the vice chancellor of the university. In our considered view, the state university has rightly understood the scope of the order issued by the honorable chancellor and rightly said that the professor of the university has not accepted uh, the pay and allowances 
or the position of the vice chancellor the court is at a loss to understand as to why the special commissioner lost sight of this interpretation which has been rightly made by the university of technology as communicated by the registrar thus by holding that the communication of special commissioner dated 12th june 2023 uh, and uh, and other similar and uh, a similar communication to other universities are without jurisdiction we hold that the incumbent professors who have been authorized to perform the duties of the vice chancellor of the respondent universities shall be entitled to draw the pay and allowances as applicable to the post held by them prior to the issuance of the orders but would be entitled to draw the allowance if any applicable to the vice chancellor authorized to perform uh, as vice chancellor of the respective universities in the result the writ petition fails and is dismissed with the above clarification slash directions hmm? you know? would you lordship kindly have allow me us to have a look pardon sir uh, would you lordship allow us to have a look at the chat we will upload it within oh yes immediately <laughs> therefore we need to we need not to trouble corrections <laughs> and Daily list regarding circuit wage at Jolpai Guri, serial number one. What is that, sir? You, why you can't wait till Monday? No, my lords, uh, my my. You go to Jolpai Guri. My lords, weather will be better than. Coming. My lords, kindly see the order which has been passed. Now, my submission is that there is no scope for improving their case over effort efforts, my lords. This order ought to have been quashed. And there is also my lords penalty under section one twenty two fourteen. What, my lords, what was challenged? My lords, I'll tell you, my lords, the facts in nutshell, I'll tell you. I was carrying, I was, I bought a second hand car, my lords. I am a person based in Mumbai. I bought it from a vendor in Assam. Now my vendor bought it from one person in Arunachal Pradesh. And I had bought it on the 13th. My vendor had bought it five days back on the 6th. Now the terms of agreement were such, my lords, that the original owner was supposed to transfer the uh, transport the vehicle. So I was not taking care. I was not in charge of the transport, my lords. Now my goods were now the problem, my lords, happened was that the goods were being uh, the uh, the original owner who was responsible for transporting the vehicle, my lords. Mm -hmm. He was he had he contacted a transporter who generated an eBay bill. And in the e bill, the name of the consigner as well as the consignee was the name of the original owner. And it was carried, it was being carried with a declaration stating that with an authorization which stated that uh, these are not for sale items and these are personal uh, effects items. Hmm. So my goods were detained thereafter. The hmm. MOV 6 was passed. Hmm. Thereafter, my lords, I come into picture. I am the owner. Hmm. Now I contact this officer who has intercepted now he tells me that I tell him that this is the story. So he tells me that, and I also tell him that there is tax has been paid on this. There is invoice. I have done all this through my banking uh, transaction is there. I had also been issued by, by my vendor some invoice. So my first blunder, which happened in this case, my lords, I over WhatsApp, I send them a wrong invoice. In that invoice, there was no tax. It was shown as nil. Then I get a show cause notice. The detention order is passed after that. I get a show cause notice, my lords. In the show cause notice, there are certain, uh, they, they raise few points. If you want, I'll take you to th those. Then I reply to them. Then finally, the penalty order is passed. My submission was that before the red bench, that what they have done is they determined my tax liability, which is completely in contravention to the statute. Because the, for second and goods, my lords, there is a specific notification by the central government, which was passed under section 11, which says that in public interest, you can uh, uh, make rules for certain category of uh, taxable people. So I am covered by the statute. Rule 32.5 says 
how to value uh, uh, taxable services and with regards to uh, ca uh, calculating my taxable value of the consignment or my consignment oh, value my lord the red petition is pending yes my lord the direction has been issued to release the vehicle subject to condition yes my lord how, how are you aggrieved by the condition my lord uh, kindly make it short my lord at least if if not uh, the dates is given four weeks and two weeks, my lords. My car is getting deteriorated, my lords. But, uh, it's a completely it, illegal order, my lords. Maybe, but then so there is something surprising. No? A person from Mumbai purchases a SUV, a second-hand vehicle, from a person who bought the vehicle only five days before. He is a vendor, my lords. He deals in used cars. But I'll then, show my lords. But then there's something more to it. My, something I, I, more than what meets. My uh, lords, but I might have made few mistakes, my lords. But no, can no, the no, department no. go beyond the statute? Maybe that is different. A completely there is something, arbitrary, something my something more to it. There's something more to it. My lords, uh, kindly see so their order. Why a person from Mumbai should go all the way to Assam my lords, to he purchase deals a vehicle, in, he, second-hand he vehicle, deals. Third and vehicle. My lords, I am from instructed. Vehicle was which was purchased from Arunachal Pradesh. My lord, I'll tell you, my lords. I'll I'll tell you, my lords. This this Some person deals in used that cars, is. my lords. He travels across India. He buys used cars and he sells used cars. So it was cheaper. Not cheaper, my lords. This is how he functions. This is his modus operandi. Today, my lords, uh, my submission is that there are certain states where you get uh, second-hand cars cheap. With certain models. Suppose you go to the state of Kerala. Wait, wait. You also hear this. You go to state of Kerala. Mercedes Benz. You will be able to get a lot of Mercedes Benz. Because most of them, they will be in uh, the uh, um, Saudi Arabia and other countries, Middle East countries. And they, when they come back, they are entitled to import. Hmm? 20 years if they have been there, they can import. It's not a, there's no bond required. So that vehicle can be sold immediately. So you will get in very, very competitive rates. In Similarly, if you uh, come to Calcutta for the old ambassador cars. So there are certain states where certain category of vehicle. But this story is unbelievable. My lords, my lords, I'll just... You have to search the vehicle. My lords, I'll just indicate... You have to search the vehicle. That's the vehicle. Inside the vehicle. Remove the petrol tank. My lords, I'll just take you through the writ order, my lords. The order which was passed, I my think lords. you want any modification, you yes, are... Yes, my lords. Shorter dates then, Shorter my lords. Kindly fix it for uh, next circuit. Shorter dates for filing of affidavit. I, I don't want to file any reply, my lords. No, no, you don't want a release of the vehicle. I want, my lords. All right, what is the condition imposed? Condition imposed is that the writ bench agreed that says also they have illegally charged. So, condition come, come they said the, was... Come to the point. You show the impugned order. I'll show Sir, it. this is what is directed to be paid. Internal page number 10, my lords. Page 10. Page number 9, my lords. I'll read you the operative part, my page lords. 10, first, page before 10, taking you to the interim, my lords. No, no. There will be an interim order to the extent that the respondent authorities shall release, uh, shall release the vehicle of the petitioner in question on payment of the impugned Pugned demand. Order. Show Less the demand. Less. Show the demand. Demand is 33 lakhs, my lords. Show the demand. Page number. I, I will, my lords. Your instructing counsel should be assisting you with the page number. Page 138 and 139. 139, my lords. 138 and 139. There's Hope. a penalty order. Hope it is not a stolen vehicle. <laughs> But now we can trace because of the Vahan app. Yes, my lords. Everything is possible. Can trace. Your client can't and there explain. are criminal cases, my lords, for that. Code Endeavor Titanium. Yes, my lord. It's all outdated models. Sir. Yes, my lords. It's not manufactured now. My lord knows about the cars. Total value is 33,82,000. IGST 9 lakhs. 46,960. Yes. CIS has already been excluded. No, that has not been excluded. I have been there directed to... Because it to, is in-state, uh, my lord. Therefore, they have to pay CIS in terms of goods and compensation. I have been directed to furnish bank guarantee wait, wait. for CIS. If the vehicle is there, it will deteriorate. 946, uh, he has to pay. Penal like penalty, there will be full stay. Out of 946, you pay some money. My lords, I purchased it 
for like i am a purchaser my lord like this intra court appeal is directed against the order passed by the learned single bench dated 13 6 by which the learned single bench directed affidavits to be called for affidavits to be filed and in the interregnum the go- the goods slash vehicle which was um, seized was directed to be released subject to condition the uh, learned advocate appearing for the appellant would submit that the condition is absolutely onerous in the in the light of the fact that no tax could have been levied uh, on the said goods which were which was a second hand car and it was purchased by the appellant in the state of assam and it was being transported under a valid e bill bill generated by the vendor by the transporter by the transporter uh, and the vehicle being for personal use comma no tax is levyable the court suggested that the uh, petitioner that the appellant can make a, re- a payment of a reasonable amount uh, which has been computed as tax however the learned advocate for the appellant on instruction submitted that uh, uh, the vehicle is a second hand vehicle and the appellant will not be in a position to afford to pay any portion of the tax as computed in the light of the stand taken by the appellant we have, we have we are left with no option except to dismiss the appeal however since the vehicle is now lying in the custody of the respondent department we direct the respondent department to file their affidavit in opposition uh, not later than seven seven twenty twenty three my lord also fix a date for le, le, let the let the matter be listed before the appropriate bench so the bench. Jalp, uh, appropriate circuit bench huh? no before the circuit bench huh? um, in the week commencing 10th july my lord grateful much obliged next Good. Thank you. Are you on the list of matter? Are you number one? Wait, just a moment. Yes, I've sat a minute. There is a delay of 58 days a minute. May that be gone? 58. 85 days a minute. What is the issue? Okay. This is one of transfer pricing and one of the substantial question of price happening at page four of the state petition. So transfer pricing. I'm placing that before us. Entertainment expenses to an extent of 10%. Deleting 12 so to 5 crores on the issue of arms length price. Adjustment there on rejecting the computation of ALP by the TPO. Manu. The relevant portion alert is appearing at page 59 to 65 of the MPU order, wherein one of the issues has been dealt with. Page 6 to my lot is the portion where in the input noted is actually giving a brief details of the fact.
but the uh, tribunal appears to have followed the earlier earlier concerns case yes yes so facts were identical is it that is that is valid the holding of the tribunal on the basis of which matter uh, tribunal possibly valid, did not produce anything of its own have gone on to reproduce You come to uh, CIT appeals finding. Yes. I think a very detailed finding is given. The issues, page 43 is the finding. It's page uh, 47. It starts at 43, am I right? Mm -hmm. Yes, the, 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 the upward had just is the submissions and then I'm not, I'm, it is my duty to point out that the order I'm not, which the tribunal has referred to hmm. was cited, but there's a revenue appeal against that. Oh, okay. So I'm not, uh, of, although I'm not the grounds there I was looking at, are a little on on uh, they seem to be more on opportunity to the They are slightly different. No? Yes, no, therefore, no, I am a little. I have not looked at the papers of the other matter. Mm. So, but the order was given to me, so I, I was told that it is the. Probably then we'll club both the appeals. That will be nice. I think that will be. Not, uh, I found that one of the grounds of cross objection by the assessing no, was uh, rejected by the tribunal. So and you will also file an appeal. I will file a cross objection no, okay. in this. Yes, ma'am. No. Uh, appeal is admitted. On so the second four. question regarding the entertainment expenses, not a factual. Actual. Appeal. appeal is admitted on question number one, hmm? page number four. No, before that you say this, sir. Hmm? God so and so. The revenue has raised the following substantial questions of law. Page number four, one and two. Two questions, you please type. <laughs> So far as substantial question of law number one is concerned, the issue was decided against the revenue by placing reliance on the decision of the learned tribunal in the case of the assessee sister concern in IDA number 11 slash KOL slash 2019, against which the revenue has preferred an appeal before this court in IT eighty number 45 of 2023 which was admitted on 3rd April 2023. Therefore, substantial question of law number one is entertained and the appeal is admitted on the said question. Para. So far as the second substantial question of law is concerned, we find that 
that the that before the tribunal the assessee had submitted a paper book containing a paper book containing uh, several documents and ledgers in respect of entertainment expenses to establish that those expenses were genuine and all of them were recorded in the books of accounts and therefore the assessee contended that the same cannot be disbelieved as it is supported by evidence the learned tribunal after considering the finding rendered by the commissioner of income tax within bracket appeals who had held in favor of the ssc reappreciated the effect of the documents and ledgers which were produced by the ssc during the hearing of the appeal and approved the finding rendered by the cita as being proper and reasonable and there is no need to interfere with the same thus the issue being wholly factual and the cita as well as the tribunal have concurrently held in favor of the assc we find that no substantial no question of law much less substantial question of law arises for consideration on the said issue accordingly question number uh, accordingly question number 2 as suggested by the revenue is not entertained let the appeal be tagged along with it it number 45 of 2023 the learned senior advocate appearing for the respondent assc submitted that the assc had filed a cross objection before the learned tribunal in co number 1/kol/202021 and uh, the uh, 2021 which was dismissed by the tribunal by the impugned order and the assc uh, intends filing a cross objection in this appeal uh, leave is granted to the respondent assc to file cross objection list the matter you, you want to paper book to be filed yes sir paper book uh, informal paper which is partly dismissed the cross objection was partly dismissed uh ah, partly partly dismissed the okay. cross objection i said dismissed it should be partly dismissed i'm right yes how let and delay may be malad required to be malad con delay may be delay may be delay delay ah uh, there is a delay of so and so days in filing the appeal after hearing the learned advocates for the parties and perusing the government set out in the petition we find sufficient cause has been shown for not preferring the appeal within the period of limitation accordingly the appeal application is allowed and the delay in filing the appeal is condoned okay. i am get from another i do number 2 not here my lord the service could not be affected may i my lord come back with a mail i need to who appeared who oh, penny stock penny stock oops you have heard mr tilak mitro that penny stock matter anjan oh. yes mr next get from her and number 3 what i appear for the appellate in this matter i am appearing on behalf of the respondent writ petition am facts of the case malad in a nutshell is that the writ petitioner respondent is registered under the west bengal state support for industries incentive scheme 2008 very good in spite of having that registration the petitioner's case is that Mm -hmm. and having obtained registration certificate part 1 and part 2 from the director of industries as well as the wbidc mm -hmm. the petitioners were not granted fixed capital investment subsidy in mm -hmm. terms of the said scheme challenging the inaction on the part of the authorities the petitioner initially preferred one writ petition the managing director wbidc was asked to consider the representation of the uh, petitioner and pass a reason order the managing director wbidc passed a reason order saying that this is uh, the petitioner is not entitled to get that subsidy in view of the fact that the uh, the scheme is vat compliant scheme and since the gst has come into force so the petitioner is not entitled to that again challenging that reason order one second Yes. 
again my lord challenging that this is an order passed by the mdwbidc the petitioner preferred this writ petition before this honorable court now this writ petition was allowed directing the authorities to grant fixed capital investment subsidy to the petitioner on the ground that the one of the uh, clause in the scheme that was that the even though if it is a vat compliant scheme and if the vat is no longer into existence then the new law which comes into existence it will apply mutatis mutandis now well, i'll take you lordship directly to the well the scheme first my lord the relevant provisions of the scheme now the scheme starts from page 73 my lord But your objection says that uh, the scheme was not GST compliant. How is the uh, applicant to be blamed for that? Well, Automatic I'll, transition uh, from VAT to G. And, and the honourable single judge who placed reliance upon the clause 19.2 of the scheme, alert, which is appearing at page. No, that uh, repeals and savings and uh, ad ad adaptation to the new set of laws is automatic. It is there also, my lord. It's, it's at page 99. Page 99. It is the continuation of the See, scheme. Sir, registration granted. My lord. Sanction letter issued. Their eligibility under the scheme is not in dispute. Only thing you say but is... Their eligibility is in dispute. Where is it? Uh, I'll tell you, Lord. My lord, my colleague comes to the uh, scheme which starts from page 73. Yes. My lord. Now, if your lordship kindly turns, comes to... There are two page numbers. Printed page numbers? Printed or... page numbers, my lord. Okay, 73. 73. Oh. I'm sorry, my lord, it, sh it should have been omitted. Doesn't matter. My lord, uh, if your lordship kindly comes to page 81. Eighty-one. Eighty-one, my lord. Clause 13.7. Yes. FCIs will be released on production of the certificate on commencement of commercial production, the FCIs is fixed capital investment subsidy to be issued by the director of industries DI besides from any other sources enjoyed by such units against the same investment shall be adjusted while determining the entitlement of such units to the benefits under the WBSIS 2008. Well, thereafter, Lordship kindly comes to Yes. Paragraph 16, clause 16. Mode of in the same page, mode of payment. No claim shall be entitled if it is found that the concerned unit defaulted in the matter of payment of bad dues under the West Bengal Value Added Tax Act 2033 and Central Ta Tax Act 1956. Payment of such incentives shall be governed by the procedure laid down below. Very good. 16.1 is vital, my lord. Yes. All the entitlements under the head fixed capital investment subsidy due for the respective year, interest subsidy, employment generation subsidy, EIPA and CIPA will be credited to the account of the eligible unit towards advance payment of VAT as in was such as in when such claims are preferred and admitted. My Lord, thereafter again, my Lord, the uh, all these. Uh, Procedures are there. Then, my lord, 16.6 is also vital. 16.5 and 16.6. The unit will also ha have to apply to the Commissioner Commercial Taxes West Bengal in the form shown at Annex 5, requesting him to certify the total amount of VAT paid during the year in respect of which the application has been made. Such application should be filed at the close of each year. 16.6. Upon receipt of such application, the Commissioner Commercial Taxes West Bengal would verify the payments and other particulars as contained in the application and issue a certificate to the MDWBIDC certifying the VAT paid by the unit during the year consideration. Next, my lord, the Managing Director WBIDC on receipt of the certificate from the Commissioner of Commercial Taxes will ascertain the entitlement of the unit after adjusting the other benefits enjoyed by the unit against the same investment, if any, and will issue check once in a year in respect of the said unit in favor of the Commissioner of Commercial Taxes to be deposited by him into RBI 
uh, through appropriate VAT, VAT chalan as advance payment of the VAT for the year following that for which the certificate has been issued by the Commission of Commercial Taxes, West Bengal. Yes. Then, my lord, 16.10 subsidy on fixed capital investment for units other than that, that mentioned in 16.9 shall be paid in 10 equal annual installments by way of adjustment against VAT paid by the unit in the previous year. In the case, it is not possible to fully adjust the same against the VAT paid by the unit. On yearly basis, balance entitlement at the close of ninth year shall be paid through the unit uh, to the unit through account pay check at the tenth year. And more than 16.12 is the last. The account shall have to be maintained by the unit in such a manner that it can show clearly the amount of VAT paid in respect of sales made by the unit to which it is entitled to enjoy refund under the WBSI's 2008. If possible, the unit shall maintain separate accounts for which IPA, industrial promotional assistance, and other incentives would be claimed. No, my lord. Placing reliance upon all these clauses. Mm. My lord. To my lord, impress upon your lordship that the entire scheme is a VAT compliant scheme. The unit has to pay the VAT and the same is refunded after the certification by the commercial taxes for the next year by the managing director WBIDC. Now, my lord, admittedly, this unit, my lord, does not pay VAT. But that is not the reason, reason for rejection. Well, the reason for rejection, Malad, the reason for rejection oh, page, is uh, it's page 183. Uh, page, page, uh, seen that, Malad, the reason See, there for are uh, two things, sir. Uh, one is being entitled to the benefit of the scheme. Suppose they have not paid back. That is a question of assessment. Let us assume that uh, their liability is one crore. Malad. And they have discharged only part of the liability of 50 lakhs. Probably the commissioner can certify that the amount to be released under the subsidy scheme, subsidy, shall be only 50 lakhs. He can't profit, yeah, make a profit out of it. Clause 19.2 says, in the event the West Bengal Value Added Tax Act 2003 being mute replaced is, by any, the provisions of the scheme will apply mute and Sir, if you, page 183 is a stand. Malo. If this stand is taken, the scheme becomes unworkable. But your lordship has laid down the law. It has gone up to up to the uh, honourable Supreme Court. That with regard to incentive concessions, my lord, exemptions, there has to be strict compliance of all the my lord provision. There are all, two two uh, ways of looking at it. One is you shut him out at the threshold. Say that you don't enter because of one, two, three reasons. You are not eligible. Here it is not so. Registration granted. No, no. In the registration certificate also it was said. That is true. Uh -huh. So therefore, wherever it occurs. As the West Bengal Value Added Tax Act, you will have to read it as CGST Act or SC, SCGST Act. That's the principle. The machinery alone has changed. Well, I, am, I am not supporting the reason order passed by the uh, managing director, but your lordship may kindly appreciate. My lord, this matter was decided only upon filing of a report. My lord, the reasons, there were there was reason that the entire scheme, my lord, no, is, we, is a we, bad we, compliant scheme. Sup, you, uh, suppose you say that for XYZ, though, you accept that the benefit of the scheme has to be extended. Still, for some reasons, you are not eligible for this amount. That's a different matter. Now, they take a policy decision. Now, since WBIS is not GST compliance scheme, therefore, new tax regime of GST cannot be looped in for the purpose of this. This is wrong. What they need to do is probably issue a supplementary notification, uh, fine-tuning the mechanism. That's all. In in tune with the CGST Act or SGST Act, but till that till that date when the scheme is not in, into force, GST GST compliant scheme is not. Malad, I have two full arguments before lordship. One is with regard to this VAT. Malad, the admittedly the petitioners are not paying any VAT. The petitioners also have written a letter correspondence saying that we do not pay any VAT. Since it is not a VAT compliant Malad unit, it is not entitled to the fixed capital this investment. All these freebies, unless you Malad, stop. And this strict interpretation of Malad, the Malad incentive scheme, starting from ALD automotive to Jindal Malad, all these judgments will also Malad, I know not. And secondly, is with regard to there is no new scheme, Malad. Malad you is, know, there is no necessity for a new scheme. Probably you mean 19.2, my lord, your lordship, because you need to only issue an amendment notification. That's all. But till such, till such was, it was not into place, the honorable single judge ought not to have passed an order. Right. Please come. My lord, my lord, may I submit? My lord, two things I need to. We'll point. admit the appeal, grant stay. 
my lord only one thing i need to should, should we admit the appeal and no, grant sir. stay my lord only one thing kindly should we admit the appeal no my lord no my lord this intra court appeal by the state is directed against the order dated 21st september 2022 passed in wpo 2308 of 2022 the writ petitioner respondent writ petitioner had impugned the order passed by the managing director of the west bengal industrial development corporation limited within bracket wbidc dated february 10 2022 the learned single bench has had held that the said uh, order is unsustainable and the writ petition has been allowed we have elaborately heard mr steam siddiqui learned uh, um um government council for the appellant and sutapa sanyal and uh, advocate appearing for the respondent writ petition um the order which was impugned in the writ petition sets out the following reason for not granting slash disbursing the fixed capital investment subsidy in favor of the appellant the say the operative portion of the order reads as follows page 183 sir printed page number i'll mark the paragraph thus it could be seen that the only reason for rejecting the uh, request for the disbursement of the incentive under the said subsidy scheme was that the scheme is not gst compliant the question would be as to whether the appellants could have denied the benefit of the scheme which was undoubtedly uh, brought into force uh, by the government of west bengal by notification dated 26th february 2009 to extend certain financial support for promotion of in- industries in the state namely large and medium scale industrial units thus the interpretation which is required to be given by the authorities is to further the scheme and not to make the scheme unworkable the uh, the department the uh, appellant does not state for certain reasons the appell the respondent writ petitioner is inherently eligible to the benefit of the scheme but would fault the scheme have for not being gst compliant in our view that that can hardly be a reason to deny the a benefit of the scheme to the respondent writ petitioner more particularly when the respondent writ petitioner has been granted registration at level number 1 and 2 of the said scheme and have also been granted a letter of sanction on 7th june 2016 with regard to the capital investment subsidy uh, and a, and a sanction has also been fixed also been made fixing the monetary limit the learned single bench has elaborately referred to the various provisions of the scheme and rightly noted clause 19.2 of the scheme which state that in the event of west bengal value added tax act 2003 being replaced by any other act comma the provision of the scheme will apply mutat mutatis mutandis even after the new act comes into force therefore according to the appellant if the gst regime had come into force on and from 1st july 2017 all that was required is to read the provisions of the G- the uh, sgst act into the provisions of the scheme wherever there is reference to the west bengal value added tax act 2003 all that might have been required to be done by the government of west bengal is to use is to issue an amendment notification duly amending the uh, provision of the uh, the uh, uh, amending the provisions of the scheme wherever uh, the scheme mentions about the wb vat act and substituting the same with the provisions of the sgst act therefore we find that the learned single bench was fully justified in allowing the petition and also uh, fixing a time limit within which uh, the benefit has to be extended to the appellant thus for the above reasons we find no grounds to interfere with the order passed by the learned single bench accordingly the appeal fails and is dismissed and the time for compliance of the order as ordered by the uh, 
learned single bench shall commence to run from the date of receipt of the server copy of this order. Next, Lashu, may kindly extend the time because twelve weeks is given. The twelve weeks is already over. They have filed. No, from server copy of this order from here twelve weeks. Next, and my lord, there is a prayer out there. We have to condone the delay. My lord, may I add that line. How many days delay? Uh, Two twenty-eight days. Uh -huh. All right. Uh, we will talk. Uh, we have heard so there is a delay of 228 days in filing the appeal. We have perused the affidavit filed in support of the petition and we find sufficient cause has been shown for not preferring the appeal within the period of limitation. Accordingly, the application is allowed and the delay in filing the appeal is condemned. Oh. Accordingly, the prayer for condemnation of delay is allowed and the delay in filing the appeal is condemned. Next. Much Grateful. I don't know how four. But I am appearing this. It was served, my lord. Uh, just returned back with the endorsement. SSE could not be located. Some uh, he's escaping from your. No, like one of the questions, <laughs> my lord, uh, my lord, here in this case, my lord, the SSE has raised as uh, equity share of rupees ten with a premium of rupees four ninety, my lord. Thereby raising a share capital of rupees four crores and not, my lord. He was asked to produce the genuineness and creditworthiness of the certain uh, creditors, my lord. Therefore, one thirty one notice was issued before the assessing officer. He could not produce those uh, all those documents. The few lawyers will kindly see, my lord, page number sixty. But Malod. page 61, para 4. Yes, yes, yes. CIT has done it. CIT, CIT has done it, Malod. After uh, but Malod, on various decisions, I could delete that. Yeah, Malod, ARS, NRS steel was also considered, Malod. Not sure, uh, NRS NR steel was also considered, Malod. Here, Malod, uh, he was asked to produce certain documents, but whether genuineness and credit worthiness of the thing, Malod, has to be, Malod, uh, Lordship kindly sees the documents which were required to be produced by the assessing officer. Lordship is there, Lord, page number 60. Lord, Lord if your Lordship will kindly come to me, Lord, 60, Lord. Assessing yes. filed names, pan, pan of the investors, copy of the share allotment advice, copy of share application, bank statement. So director's, director's document was not filed by the assessing officer. Lordship will kindly see the page number 61. Page number 61, Lordship will kindly see the, the paragraph, Lord. First paragraph 133.6 notice issued yes, by yes, AO. Yes, yes. Huh? yes, yes. Uh, independent verification was done. Yes. They have all duly responded by the investors by filing requisite details. But the managing director details were not given. Malod. Will kindly see. But other people's uh, records were there. Otherwise, they were on that on that ground, not uh, assessing officer, the page number 61. Lord, will kindly see. Of loss. This appeal filed by the police take down. This appeal filed by the revenue under section 260 capital A of the Income Tax Act 1961. Within bracket, the act is directed against the order dated 4th January 2023, passed by the Income Tax Appellate Tribunal, B Bench, Kolkata, in ITA number 651 KOL 2020 for the assessment year 2012 13. The revenue has raised the following substantial questions of law for consideration. Following sub paragraph 7, page. Question A. Page 7, A. We have heard Mr. Prithu Doria, learned senior standing counsel for the revenue. After carefully considering the findings recorded by the Commission of Income Tax, Appeal 7, Kolkata within bracket CITA, uh, in his order dated uh, 12th, 21st September 2020, and the findings recorded by the learned tribunal, we find that the entire matter is fully factual. The learned tribunal has independently examined as to the genuinity of the transaction in the matter of uh, 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 raising share capital. And the tri tribunal noted that, uh, that even during the assessment proceedings, the assessee has furnished all details in support of share capital and share premium raised by the assessee beside the details of the investors by their submission dated 9-6-2014 in reply to the notice issued by the assessing officer under section 142 of the Act dated 5-5-2014. The tribunal also noted that the assessee had produced uh, all documents, comma, disclosed the names and addresses uh, uh, and PAN numbers of the investors, comma, copies of the share allotment advice Comma copies of the share application forms, comma bank statements, comma statement given giving complete details of share application money received during the year, copy of form two, from numerical two, evidencing return of allotment, and copy of form five for increase in authorized capital. Further, 
the tribunal noted that the assigning officer had issued notice to the investors under section 133 within bracket 6 uh, on 11/6 2014 for carrying out independent verification of the transactions and those investors duly responded to those notice and filed the requisite details uh, um, um, such as the number of shares subscribed ledger account comma bank statement explanation for source of fund comma income tax returns and audited financial statement and also assessment order framed under section 143 within bracket 3 of the act in all the cases the and uh, uh, full stop the tribunal further noted that in spite of such being the factual position comma the only reason for uh, making the addition in the answer of the assc was that that the director of the assc company did not re respond to the summons issued by the assing officer under section 131 of the act the correctness of this was also considered by the learned tribunal and it was held that non um, non appearance of the director cannot be made a ground for addition in the hands of the assc under section 68 of the act when other evidence relating to the raising of share capital Que que the share subscribers were available on record as furnished by the SSC and also cross verified by the assessing officer uh, pursuant to the inquiry conducted uh, in response to the notices issued under section 133 within bracket six of the Act. The learned tribunal also referred to the decision of the of this court in the case of Crystal. networks private limited was a cit what is the citation sir crystal network was citation yes. it is referred in page 64 it says supra where is that supra in the previous paragraph is not mentioned and seconds Okay. Citation is not there. Let us see. But Enora Iron was distinguished, but ah, uh, Crystal Network Private Limited CAT three fifty three ITR one seventy one within bracket CAL. Thus, we find there is no substantial cause, uh, there no question of law, much less substantial question of law arising for consideration in this appeal. Accordingly, appeal fails to dismiss. Make it clear. Met this a lot, sir. Matter serve your lot, sir. The my instructions are that the brief hasn't been served, your lot, sir. If a copy may be provided, even a, I can have it photocopied, your lot, sir. If my learned friend provides, I shall serve this one. You serve the the learned uh, standing counsel for the appellant is directed to serve one set of papers on the learned advocate. Appearing for the respondent within a week from date. List next week. I am grateful, Your Honour. This is my appeal, Your Honour.
not happen <laughs> Mate, please, Lord, share, brother. Brother, I have sad, but brother, it has returned unclaimed. Forty-eight, three. Forty-eight, three, brother. Let us see what the tribunal finding. That is uh, starting from page twenty-two of my latest petition. In fact, he has a, the more business model he has assessed CAT appeals. Yes, and that and has been... he has verified and found that not a single transaction actually exceeded threshold of twenty thousand rupees. So forty A three. Uh, like it was fun, Malad, Some amount of cash transaction has been Malad, taken True, place because he says that is small timers. Yes. They will pay thousand rupees, thousand five hundred. Yes, yes. The nature of the business is such, and my lord, that has been elaborately discussed. Now, what the question is whether my lord that amount of cash transaction has been that is taken place to attract that provisions or not. The para four, page twenty five, clear finding, middle of that para. Uh, the learned CATA has categorically mentioned that the cash book purchase register, all individual invoices where cash transaction taken place, have been thoroughly checked. And it is found not a single such transaction actually exceeded the threshold limit of rupees twenty thousand. It's absolutely factual, limit. absolutely factual. This appeal filed by the revenue under section two sixty cap play of the Income Tax Act nineteen sixty one is the, uh, within bracket the act is directed against order passed by the Income Tax Appellate Tribunal, C Bench, Kolkata, dated twenty first November twenty twenty two, in IT number one five eight three slash K O L slash twenty eighteen for the assessment year two thousand twelve thirteen. The revenue has raised the following substantial questions of law for consideration. Page four. Page four. Question one and two, three not required. Heard Mr. Tilak Mitra and at senior standing counsel for the upper land. The the issue which falls for consideration is whether the uh, Commission of Income Tax appeals um, within bracket I um, mean hyphen seven comma Kolkata within bracket C eight A was justified. In deleting the addition made by the assessing officer under Section 40, Capital A, within bracket 3 of the Act, by his order dated 24th April 2018. The Learned Tribunal, after considering the submission on either side, examined the business model of the SSC and as to how they function, and also noted the factual finding recorded by the CIT. Wherein it was held that that the cash book, comma purchase register, and all individual invoices where cash transactions had taken place have been thoroughly checked, and it is found that not a single transaction actually exceeded the threshold limit of rupees twenty thousand. Therefore, the learned tribunal affirmed the view taken by the CITA that there is no violation of the provisions of Section 40, capital A, within bracket 3 of the Act. Thus, we find the matter being entirely factual, no question of law, much less substantial question of law arises for consideration in this appeal. 
accordingly appeal fails dismissed i go down this much after it is registered next i don't know 7 assessee's appeal but this uh, appeal will arose out of proceedings under section 263 but mm. the assessee is a, has a unit blood in himachal but covered by section 80 ic so no, that unit started not in july 2006 and not the section provided that the 100% exemption will deduction for the first 5 years and not for the next 5 years not 30% mm. now uh, the section covered not only uh, starting of a new unit but also not expansion so not in the 6th year not which was the assessment year 12 13 mm. not the expansion was undertaken not and in that year not the matter was examined fed by by the assessing officer mm. so not he granted 100% deduction in that year because of the substantial expansion now our year is assessment year 13 14 and not the the, the in this year not therefore not once that expansion had been established not in the preceding year not i get number the section says maximum deduction for 10 years so i get 5 uh, on the basis of the original unit not next 5 on the basis of the expansion i get for total 10 years number the commissioner issued the notice under section 263 saying that form 10 ccp was not filed and you should have got uh, 30% not 100% so not in the answer the ssc explained that the expansion had happened and in the preceding year assessment at 12 13 it had been examined assessment order was enclosed to show that it has been gone into and it has been allowed so therefore in this year there cannot be any dispute so the commissioner not yet uh, sent the matter back saying it, it has to be looked into now before the tribunal again it was demonstrated and in this time around they also uh, written submissions were filed paper book was filed showing the inquiry which was made in the preceding year by the ao so not the tribunal has not taken note of those submissions but the, i i can show not from the written submissions which were filed in my lodger please see not page 257 at volume 2 not page 257 at 262 for 257 my lords will find that the the uh, in the opening part not they have mentioned about the original uh data manufacture and then the expansion and then we're at page 260 anybody will take notice for the respondent but we have served notice not the we will admit the appeal let us see lot or we'll serve notice and but i can serve notice i have served notice but since but i can i will accept notice my lord uh respondent will be PC eighty four. ये वो तो the assessing officer is uh, assistant commissioner of income tax headquarters for Kolkata. तो that he is the uh, PC eighty four. Oh sorry sir, that's uh, PC eighty. तो the assessing officer में तो is uh, deputy commissioner of income tax the, the allotment is not made based on commissioner no not allotment is based on the commissioner so far as not this uh, it matters are concerned directly commissioner uh, points not regarding this no, it matters shared judicial by appoint appoint then you please serve no i will serve another note learned advocate for the uh, upper land is directed to serve the concerned standing council for the respondent department next week okay. you please intimate the department get the name my lord my lord yes, or you take the papers and hand it over so that they yes, can sir, hand it I over can... to you or somebody else my lord my lord i can hand over the papers now yes lordship kindly records me that it was handed over all right uh, then the learned advocate appearing for the appellant strike out the earlier order uh, has handed over one set of papers to mr mr prithu doria learned standing senior standing counsel for the department who shall obtain instruction as to who has to appear in the matter on behalf of the revenue let the matter appear next week malo next week next week. grateful lord i don't know about eight meet please lord by the order impugned lord the honorable single judge milord has unalmlord there is an application for delay also milord uh-huh. respondent sir 
Lord, Lord, we have served. Delay can be condoned. Lord, delay of 133 days. Admission stage. Where is the uh, rights going now? The previous matter, they can accept notice. No? Who, who appeared? Mr. Upadhyaya was there in, in the red court. Mr. Bagariya didn't appear. No, no, Mr. Bagariya didn't. Mr. Upadhyaya was there. No, the order proceeded on the basis, Lord. No, no, the proceedings had been initiated prior to the death. Lord, no, then under section 159, Lord, no, if your Lordship sees, Lord, no, it can be continued. Lord, no, there are judgments to this effect also, Lord, no, that even if there is an. But you, you didn't file, uh, no opportunity to file affidavit. No. At the threshold, Lord, no, but this appeal was for. And the order was of 22nd November 2020. Yes, that is why, my lord, the application for delay, my lord, condemnation of delay, my lord. Respondent, uh, I mean, has lord, we have we have served, my lord. Delivered, delivered. We'll condone the delay. Probably keep the appeal after a week or two. As it. then they can appear. My lord. We have heard Mr. Om Narayan Rai, Leonard Senior Standing Council for the Appellant. Lord, with Along Mr. Amit Sharma, Sharma Leonard Standing Council for the Appellant. There is a delay of 133 days in filing the appeal. Um, the uh, uh, stop, stop. notice has been served on the respondent and affidavit of service has been filed. None appears for the respondent. Uh, we have perused the affidavit filed in support of the condoned delay petition and we find sufficient cause has been shown for not preferring the appeal within the period of limitation. Hence, application is allowed and delay in filing the appeal is condoned. The learned uh, uh, standing counsel for the appellant is directed to serve papers on the learned advocate who appeared for the respondent writ petitioner in the writ petition. Let the appeal appear in the admission list in the same position after, give a date after two weeks, 17-7. Great. I don't know, nine. Lord, I beg to approve the appeal. Lord, we have served. A short issue before Lord Shri Millard, the assessment order was passed. That was Millard revised by the Commission of Under Section 263. Millard, in the meantime, paper an appeal before the CIT appeal. And CIT appeal Millard to set aside the assessment order. Now, Millard, <coughs> the uh, SSC file appeal before the Millard Parliament Tribunal. Lord Lalnet Tribunal of the of the view that Lord, since Lord, uh, it is but technicality. Lord, jurisdiction point can be raised at any point. Tribunal orders Lord, starts page forty eight and forty nine. Once the assessment goes, this appeal filed with the revenue under Section 263, 260 of the uh, Income Tax, 260 Capital A of the Income Tax Act 1961 within bracket the Act is directed against the order dated 17-1-2020 passed by the Income Tax Appellate Tribunal B Bench Kolkata in ITA number 992-KOL-2018 for the assessment year 2013-14. The revenue has raised the following substantial questions of law for consideration. Question number one and two, sorry, page number five and six, question A and B alone. We have heard Mr. Soman Patacharje, learned advocate, standing counsel appearing for the appellant. The short question which was involved, you know, short question which was, uh, which was subject matter of consideration before the learned tribunal was whether the uh, uh, principal commission of income tax was justified in uh, exercising his powers under section 263 of the act the learned tribunal after going through the facts found that the uh, regular assessment was 
quashed was set aside by the order passed by the commission of income tax appeals dated 11 9/2018 and the and the basis for this uh, revision proceedings initiated under section 263 of the act being no longer in existence comma uh, comma the tribunal held that um the power under the section 263 could not have been invoked we find that uh, the reasoning given by the tribunal is proper and valid uh, proper and valid uh, the revenue would contend that the assc has raised the issue of jurisdiction for the first time only after completion of the assessment before this commission of income tax appeal the jurisdictional issue being a question of law can be raised at any stage of the proceedings and the fact remains that the regular assessment has uh, was no longer valid on the date when the commissioner when the principal commissioner of income tax exercised jurisdiction under section 263 of the act thus we find that the lanner tribunal was right no, in uh, uh, in uh, setting aside the order passed by the principal commissioner of income tax 13 comma kolkata with the result the appeal fails dismissed and that's only will be subject to appeal correction uh, decided against the appellant revenue but only one thing will your lordship says the regular assessment not valid but the 263 order passed earlier to the minor order passed by the cit appeal okay uh, that last line you had uh, did not survey by side hmm? uh yeah they strike out that and can say um in order to give give effect to the order passed under section 263 of the act comma there should be a regular assessment huh, which should be valid on the said date however the said regular assessment having been quashed by the cit appeals comma the order passed under section 263 of the act cannot be huh, implemented next i don't know 10 what i am hearing this case well i'm led by mr tilak mitra in this matter there is an assessment not here actually what happened lot of yes and registration to the trust of revenue in condition so here is the assessment we find out there is an original assessment to six to seven suggestion and not the regular appeal was allowed original assessment question so it becomes stated I am yes. for the respondent. But I am appearing. Yeah, well, the tribunal has deleted the penalty issued under section two seventy one one C and two seventy four on the ground that the in the notice not that they have not specifically strike out the provisions. Yeah. That was the question. Covered by like, several decisions. Yes, yes, yes. 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 Notice is issuing. Uh, yes, yes, yes. Lord, Lord, uh, Lord, Shibble, Lord, 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 will kindly come to me. Page forty. Page forty is the notice. Well, Lord, Lord, will kindly come to face me. Lord, the uh, page, uh, tribunal sort of Lord starts at Lord page number eighty four. Lord, 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 will kindly come to me. Lord, page number. Right. 83 uh, 83 lordship will kindly see me not the department's uh, observation me not his submission was recorded lordship will kindly see the department submission back if a lordship will kindly come to me not page number 88 lordship will kindly see me not paragraph number uh, 5 first you know paragraph number 5 me not there after me not paragraph number 5 me not dr has uh, said me not uh, that uh, there is a particular in, in a Yes, yes. It's covered by this. Covered, Lord. Yes. Thereafter, Lord, the, the back number seven, Lord. By the revenue, you can sit down and take. Hmm. Yeah. Lord, I'm led by Mr. Tilak Mitra in this matter. Huh? I'm led by Mr. Tilak Mitra in this matter. Uh, this appeal filed by the revenue under section two sixty capital of the Income Tax Act, nineteen sixty one, is directed against the order dated January nineteen twenty twenty three, passed by the Income Tax Appellate Tribunal B Bench, Kolkata. In ITA number seven eighty seven to seven, sorry, five eighty seven to five eighty nine slash KOL slash twenty twenty three, for the assessment years two thousand eight nine, nine ten, and fourteen fifteen, the revenue has raised the following substantial questions of law for consideration. Page number seven, paragraph seven. Page seven, paragraph seven. Only one question, sir. Yes. Following question of only one. We have heard Mr. Tilak Mitra and the Senior Standing Council, and Mr. Prithu Thoria and the uh, Senior Standing Council for the appellant, and Mr. Uh, Dugar and the uh, 
advocate appearing uh, uh, for the respondent as a C. The, uh, the Commission of Income Tax Appeals, Kolkata 21, within bracket CITA, by order dated 31st August 2022, deleted the penalty imposed on the SSC under section 271 within packet 1, within packet small c of the Act on the ground that the show cause notice issued uh, was defective. The uh, learned tribunal, after reappreciating the facts of the case and after going through the show cause notice, which admittedly was left blank, was blank, as the relevant portions of the show cause notice were not struck off, come on, applied the decision of the, uh, uh, the decisions of this court, as well as the Honorable Supreme Court, and held that the imposition of penalty was illegal. The, the reason given by the learned tribunal is perfectly valid and call and does not call for any interference. Accordingly, appeal fails dismissed and the question of law, substantial question of law is answered against the revenue. Next. Grateful, Archer. Grateful. I don't know, 11. My Lord, in 11, I appear for the appellant, my Lord. My Lord, here the tribunal has upheld the order of the CIT appeal, which I am aggrieved against. My Lord, the short facts is that the CIT appeal while deleting the additions made on account of sundry creditors, had given uh, directions to the assessing officer for further verification. My Lord, so I first would, I would like to place the order of the CIT appeal, hmm. and which was upheld by the tribunal. My Lord, the order of the CIT appeal starts from page 18. <clears throat> my Lord, I would straight away beseech my lords to come to Page 41. But the appeal was partly allowed. Partly allowed, my lord. Uh, uh, my lord, uh, the, uh, disala, uh, the uh, deletion of addition, uh, additions were in respect of three parties of a similar nature. If I'm, my lord goes, comes to page 41, paragraph 6.20. Yes. In view of the above, prima facie, I'm of the considered opinion that the unexplained, unmatched opening balance as well as the closing balance of rupees 28 lakhs, which has been brought forward from the earlier financial years, cannot be subjected to tax in the impugned assessment year 1415. Accordingly, the, I, the, the AO is directed to delete the addition subject to the following conditions. Yes. My Lord, this has been held in respect of three, three of the sundry creditors of under similar lines that mm. it was delete, uh, it was uh, restored back to the file of the AO. So the questions of law, which have been raised, my Lord, mm. for my Lord's kind consideration, yes. is at page 7, paragraph 7. Yes. My Lord. Whether on the facts and circumstances of the case, the learned tribunal was justified in upholding the order of the CIT appeal when the same is beyond the scope of the power vested upon CIT appeal under the provisions of Section 251, 1A of the Act. And the second one, which relates to merits, whether in the facts and circumstances of the case, when the additions made in respect of the sundry creditors name were directed to be deleted as being unsustainable can be subject to inquiries conducted by the assessing officer. My Lord, these are the two questions of law before me. A uh, respondent has been served. My Lord, the respondent has been served, my Lord. It's a matter. The respondents have been served. It is the I2 is at uh, uh, in Asan Sol, my Lord. I tried to serve here on the PCIT judicial. I was uh, asked to serve there by post. I have sent it and they have received. And uh, who will appear? Are you going to accept? Or Mr. Rai Chaudhary. Now, why do you say it is beyond the scope of 251? My Lord, 251, my Lord, the powers are, uh, there are no powers to remand or restore it to the file of the assessing officer, my Lord. The powers are uh, to, he can, there are four powers, he can modify, enhance, annul, 
the assessment, but he cannot restore it to the file of the assessing officer. This is one of the uh, points of the, the law, point which has. And the second one is on the merit. On one hand, he is deleting the additions, my lord, but then he is again sending it to the back, uh, to the restoring to the file of the assessing officer okay. for further verification. You, if you can uh, inform her that... Well, one thing I'm telling, Malad, kindly keep it on Friday. In the meantime, I'm talking with the CIT judicial. Hmm. Whether it was already allotted or not, that is the first question. If you can get the name of the counsel to whom yes, it asked, yes. she'll be able to serve papers. Yes, yes, 100%. Yes, yes Malad. The learned advocate for the um, uh, appellant shall serve papers on the standing counsel who has been nominated to, uh, in the, uh, nominated to appear for the respondent revenue in this matter. Huh? So list the matter on 7th July. 7th July. In the same position. I don't know what to help. Well, APOT 175. Respondent licensee, Mr. Sumitra. Copy not served. None appears for the appellant. Dismiss for non trust In fact, frustration application itself dismissed. Next. No. no. Dismiss for default, restoration application, delay, then they didn't appear. Let them come. I don't know, 13. If they come within today. We are for the respondent. In this matter, madam, being led by Mr. Abratosh Majumda, a senior advocate. Mm. This is a this is an intra court appeal. I don't, uh, here, my lord, the issue is that the challenge was primarily made by the SSE to the reassessment proceedings on the ground that it pertains to assessment year 14 15, which your lordship is barred by limitation under section 149, the first proviso of the Income Tax Act, where under any provision which have been barred by limitation, mm. your lordship on that basis. Papers have been served to Mr. Dutt. You are appearing for this. I'm appearing for this. Your lordship, uh, if my lord may recollect, I had, uh, Mr. Majumdar had appeared before this Honorable Court in a similar matter, mm. wherein your lordship, uh, there were decisions of the Honorable Allahabad High Court and Gujarat High Court in favor of the SSE. Mm. Holding that proceedings for the assessment years 1314 and 1415 mm. under 148A are barred by limitation. Delhi High Court was in favor of the department. Mm. Your Lordship, the matter has traveled before the Honorable Supreme Court, and Your Lordship, the issue is pending before this on before the Honorable Supreme Court. In a similar matter, Your Lordship, where the writ petition, Your Lordship was admitted, stay was not granted. Mm. My Lord was uh, my lords were pleased to. Stay. Entertain to stay the matter. Stay the reassessment. Yes, in this, in but this, where is the impugned order? But in this, it's at page thirty-five. In this case, your lordship, uh, my uh, the red petition has been dismissed, your lordship, on the ground that one of the allegations pertains to accommodation entry. Your lordship, no affidavits were called for. There was no. Uh, it's it's primarily on the fact that there is an allegation, your lordship. It's not a final finding in my humble submission, your lordship. We'll send it back. Let the affidavit be filed. Because bogus transaction is a serious one. It's a quasi criminal charge. Under 148 AD, the, the allegations were there. And they have not filed a reply to that. There's a but show the cause notice. You There's a show cause notice issued to them, to which palette there are two occasions on which they have taken time. But we also made the objection with respect to limitation, Your Lordship, because that issue. Oh, my lord is not where are your grounds writ petition grounds well, the writ petition grounds your lordship uh, well, that is, uh, so far as this, 57 ground number 4 this, sir please take note Miller, this yeah. intra court appeal is directed by the writ petitioner is directed against the order dated 6th june 2023 in wpo 1092 of 2023 
the writ petition was filed by the appellant challenging hmm? the order dated 23rd July 2022, passed under section 148 capital A within bracket small d of the Income Tax Act 1961 relating to the assessment year 2014-15. The writ petition was dismissed on the ground that the writ court cannot shut its eyes and ignore bogus transactions by shell companies and the court cannot exercise jurisdiction under Article 226 of the Constitution. Uh, it appears that there was an allegation that there were certain bogus transactions. Nevertheless, the prayer sought for in the writ petition is to quash the, the proceedings, uh, quash the order passed under Section 148, capital A, within bracket, small d, small b, small d of the Act. Uh, and uh, as against such an order, no appellate or revisional remedy has been provided under the provisions of the Income Tax Act 1961. Therefore, the correctness of the order has to be examined, uh, uh, examined in the uh, examined as and when a challenge occurs. In the instant case, the appellant has raised an issue stating that that uh, notice under Section 148 cannot be issued after the lapse of six years from the end of relevant assessment year. And in the instant case, comma, it is stated, comma, six years from the end of the relevant assessment year lapsed on 31-3-2021 and the notice under section 148, which was subsequently treated as a notice under section 148 capital A, was issued on 28-6-2021. And therefore, the order dated 23rd July 2022 and the notice under section 148 capital A within bracket small b dated 24th May 2022 together with the notice under section 148 for the assessment year 2014-15 is barred by law and has to be treated as invalid. Since such a contention has been raised, come on, we are of the uh, we are of the view that uh, that uh, the respondent should be given an op the sorry the respondent revenue should be given an opportunity to rebut such contention <laughs> slash grounds which have been raised by the appellant among other grounds. Therefore, we are of the view that it will be better if affidavits had been uh, is uh, affidavit in opposition is directed to be filed by the appellant by the sorry by the respondent and thereafter uh, yeah, um, yeah, uh, thereafter the writ petition can be disposed of by re recording findings of fact and law uh, in, in the light of the above we are of the view that the writ petition should be heard and decided on merits in the result the appeal is allowed the order passed in the writ petition is set aside and the writ petition stands restored to the file of the learned single bench the respondent revenue are directed to file their affidavit in opposition within two weeks from date and uh, reply, if any, within a week thereafter and let the repetition be listed before the uh, concerned Honorable Court in the week commencing 17th July 2023. In the meantime, the stay of operation will be was granted in one such case. Appeal itself is allowed. Writ has been restored. Kylie Miller. Well, they will proceed with 148 notice. You don't proceed. Well, kindly, kindly. In, in the light of the order, yes. above order, comma, till the matter is being heard by the learned single bench, comma, the respondent department shall not proceed with the reassessment proceedings. Well, we would have well, not before your lordship. Which one? Well, the main hearing. No, no, no. How we will get it? Let them file up. Let, uh, maybe three weeks. Well, it could have another app. Pleadings could have been exchanged here also. Uh, Maybe three, we no? uh, three, three weeks. Three weeks. Three weeks. So then you extend it, sir. Within two, three weeks, yes. one week then, and list the matter in the week then commencing. Then it will go to August, my lord. Then it will go to August, I believe. Uh, then it will go week commencing, 1st August. First. Next. Yes. I don't know what, 14. I appear for the appellant, my lord. This is an intra court appeal, my lord. And in this matter, I think Mr. Majumdar has made my job easier, my lord. The matter as uh, under section 148 AD for the assessment year 2014-15 was disposed summarily without exchange of affidavits, my lord. 
and uh, the facts of this case, uh, apart from the limitation point that has been raised, my lord, uh, the if I delve into the merits, my lord, uh, my lord, what has happened in this order, my lord, the first order under section 148 AD hmm. was set aside by this honorable court presided over my lord hmm. and my lord were directing them to furnish us the credible information as well as to give us an opportunity of cross-examination. My lord, the credible information being bank statements were supplied to us. Hmm. In none of the statements, my lord, which have category pointer, not one single transaction which they had alleged between the two parties hmm. could be linked with uh, me. And secondly, my lord, the, these two alleged parties were given summons under section 131. Hmm. They did not appear. I did not get an opportunity to cross-examine, but they had informed the assessing officer that they have no connection with us. My lord, so apart from the specific findings... No, show about, us the impugned order. Yes, my lord. Or apart from the point of limitation, my lord. No, no. My lord comes to... Order passed in the writ petition. Order passed in the writ petition, my lord. At okay. volume 3, my lord, at page 384. At page 384, my lord. Oh, no. uh, before the trial court, I think Mr. Om Narendra appeared, my lord. So, my lord, I think he has... Uh... Mr. Om no, no, we have, sir. This is this is incorrect, sir, because mm -hmm. there is no other remedy under 148 here. Here he say, the learned judge says that uh, matters are based on evidence and based on investigation. Uh, constitutional writ to court cannot. Supreme Court says you will have to. The transfer pricing matter. We need to yes, go into yes, it. Yes, yes. The intra court appeal has been filed by the writ petitioner against the order passed in date against order dated 16 June 2023 in WPO 1156 of 2023. We find that the learned writ court declined to um, exercise jurisdiction on the sole ground that the findings recorded by the authority is based on evidence and based on investigation. And the case, same cannot be reappreciated in a writ proceedings. It needs to be pointed out that, that as against an order passed under section 148 capital A within bracket small d of the, uh, of the Income Tax Act 1961, the SSE has no remedy provided under the provisions of the Act. And therefore, the correctness of the order can be tested in a proceedings under Article 226 of the Constitution of India. More particularly when the uh, SSC has raised the question of jurisdiction as well as challenges the order on the grounds of violation of principles of natural justice. Therefore, this is a fit case where the, all issues can be decided and accordingly the appeal is entertained and the same is admitted. Uh, uh, if if the reassessment proceedings are allowed to proceed further, then the appeal itself will become infructuous. Therefore, till the appeal is heard and disposed of, the re, the reassessment proceedings shall remain state. Let the appeal be listed uh, um, in the twenty fifth August. Mr. Om Narayan Rai and Mr. Kritu Doria. Standing counsel to the standing counsel, accept notice for the respondent. The learned advocate for the appellant shall serve one set of papers on the learned standing counsel. Next, my lord, uh, the appeal we heard on this self same petition, my lord, no paper books, not required. My lord, may I file uh, the certified copy within the period of limitation which I received? All right, uh, uh, the certified copy has been filed, which is taken on record. This is motion. Uh, since in the department, the certified copy, the learned advocate for the appellant is permitted to file the certificate copy in the department. The Since all the uh, required documents are available in the stay application, the filing of the uh, informal paper book is dispensed with. I'm ready to Next. I don't have 15. But I'm for the respondent. My lord, I'm for the petitioners. My lord, uh, there is a bereavement in the family of the advocate of on record for the petitioners. Oh, if my sorry. lord could kindly grant me a fortnight's time to come back. Right. At the request okay. of the learned advocate for the appellant, whatever date you want. 
मान लो ट्वेल्थ जुलाई जुलाई ग्रेटफुल मान लो अरुणा सिक्सटीन Okay. Then we'll give a date uh, sometime in July. As you lost this mail. At the request of the sponsor, you give a date, uh, Anjul. Huh? Twelve July. Twelve. 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 You don't have any personal interest. Still, you are trying your level best to improve the position of the case. Very nice. I am not praising. Not that. Don't misunderstand me, because my Lord, this is Gupta. My Lord, no, very fast day. I had a privilege to appear, and that is a very fast case. Fast case. <laughs> <laughs> I am really happy. May I leave, my Lord? Yes. I am grateful. I am grateful. Next. I don't know my teen. <laughs> Hello, Happy Davids. प्रकाश Three matters. This is my appeal, Lord Chief. The department has served with served me with a copy of their opposition. Mm. Your Lord Chief, I re I'll require some time to file my reply to the opposition filed by them, Your Lord Chief. If an extension of uh, two weeks may be granted, Your Lord Chief. Let the affidavits have been filed, my Lord. My Lord, may kindly record that. You have filed the affidavit in office. I filed the affidavit in office. We have heard Mr. Prithviraj Jindal Wala, and I advocate for the appellant. 
and Mr. Vipul Kundalial and a senior standing counsel for the respondent. In terms of the directions issued earlier, affidavit in opposition has been filed by the respondent department. Um, full stop. Prayer, is, prayer for adjournment is made to file affidavit in reply. Let such affidavit be filed within two weeks from date uh, and served on the learned standing counsel for the respondent. List the matter on so and so date. I'm grateful, Your Honor. Number 19. Yes, this is my appeal uh, challenging an order passed pertaining to willful defaulters. My Lord, I am being led by Mr. Abrojit Mitro. Hmm. He's coming on his leg. So, if my Lord would be kind enough to take it up on Monday, uh, if Lord ne should... next next uh, week, next week, any day convenient. Uh, next Lord. week it will come on next Wednesday. Very good, very good. My Lord, only there was one order of 17th of March 2023. Lordships permitted my client, the respondent, my Lord, to my Lord hand over copies of documents which I wish to rely to oppose the appeal, which I have done, my Lord, though belatedly, my Lord. Doesn't matter. You have received it. Very good. My Lord, I am it's carrying Lordship's copy. If Lordship permits, I can file it, my Lord. Yes. You have heard the learned advocates for the parties. In terms of the order dated 17 March 2023, the uh, learned advocate for the respondent has filed certain documents, copy of which has been served on the learned uh, advocate for the appellant and also filed before this court, which is taken on record. Uh, at the request of the learned advocate for the appellant, next Wednesday. Next Wednesday, my lord. In the in the same position. Grateful. Grateful, my lord. Twenty. Sorry, my lord. I missed item fourteen, lord. I was on no. next. See, actually, it should be heard. Yes, my lord, should be heard. Should be heard. Lord, in and, fact, uh, I was there ready... also second round. A stone we may passed a detailed order. That is myself and uh, just a Supertim Bhattacharya is there. It's a very detailed order we have passed. If uh, on merit, because after the Honorable Supreme Court's decision in the transfer pricing matters, definitely we have to go into even under 226. Lord, but there are good grounds, Lord, to defend it, Lord. I, should, ah, yes. I, would also, I, would also, I was ready, Lord, but it was my bad luck. Yes, no. <laughs> Great. I don't know what, 20. Uh, 19, I was just walking in. Uh, Other side is here, if it can be taken up. If it's, I, I know it's, I'm breaking. Lord, you kept it next Wednesday. Uh, next Wednesday. Because, 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 because last time they took adjournment, and today I was but, uh, like, Within this time, I got a meeting at the... 115. So if I go a little five minutes earlier, it will be convenient. Wednesday, we shall come. Yes. Item 20. 20. None appears for the appellant. List the matter after. If probably you give it a date. Nine. Ah, no. The month combined monthly list. Yes. Item 20. 20, well, ah. My appeal. So let like it remain in the list. Red no, don't adjourn it. Let it remain in the list. Well, before, well, my lord, I will. My lord, your lordship will remember one freedom fighter matter. Your lordship delivered you. There is two, three mistakes. Can I pay for what this? I, 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 I'm just handing over the slip. Yes, my lord, this page. Same page. For that reason, I am mentioning, my lord, may not be. I mean, order to a second. What is the mistake? My lord, uh, you know, you also will kindly excuse me. I got only two copies. You know, page number six of the internal page number six of the order. You know, fourth line, it will be 1993, not 33. Okay, sir. 1993. Then, you know, in that page, you know, the quotation mark, the ordering portion quotation mark. 32 instead of 32, 1932, it will be 30, C0. Just before the pride. 
just before para eight. Hmm. Thirty. It should be nineteen thirty. Three zero milod. And we are at page seven. Ah. Paragraph eight, last but one line. Certificate instead of I think milod, it will be records. Well, you all should be kindly consider. I'm holding that the records are not up, sir. That's all. I believe it, it will be record. You all should not take me other way. That's all. That's all. And days list you can the matter. Well, it, it is in the appellate side, you know. Listen, right. Appellate side. Uh, the matter has been listed under the caption to be mentioned. It is submitted by the learned advocate appearing for the respondent, the petitioner, that there are certain inadvertent typographical errors which have occurred in the order and praise the same may be corrected slash rectified. In page 6 of the order in para 7, instead of the year 1933, it shall be mentioned as 1993. In the same page, in the extracted portion, in the last line, it has been mentioned as 1932, which should be 1930. In page number 7, in paragraph 8, instead of the word certificates, the same shall be substituted by the word Records. records. The above corrections be carried out uh, and this order shall form part of the order dated 22-6-2020. People. Well, your Lord, you will can excuse me, Milad, for disturbing before. Well, no, no. In the original. no.
Mention it even never know. Your Lordship. Yeah, your Lordship, I crave the leave of your Lordship. If I could mention a matter on the appellate side, your Lordship, if I understand. Your Lordship, actually, there's some sort of urgency. Otherwise, I would not have bothered your Lordship. Your Lordship, because I have filed a writ petition. It's uh, uh, against an order in original. It's before Jalpai Guri bench, your Lordship. Now, the time limit for filing an appeal against that order expires on Monday. Your Lordship, and that matter has been filed on 16th of May, 2023. But your Lordship has not been listed till date. Give the number. Give yes. The number. yes. Give the before the Jalpai Guri bench. Yes, Your Lordship. Yes, Your Lordship. So it will be listed on Monday. Your Lordship, for the, the circuit is starting on Monday. You mentioned it on Monday. Your Lordship. Yes, please. Um, Malaga, may I be permitted to mention your losses? Your losses, my Leonard Junior mentioned in the morning, your losses directed to Kamas with a contempt application to leave the contempt application. You, you, you will be here. I will be here, but your losses, Malaga, I have to file it. Your losses. We will hear you. If necessary, but, we will uh, give you permission. Madam, bothering for the. I mentioned it in the morning. Yes, it will come. It will come. I, I, I am waiting, Madam. This, this division bench, it can't be taken. Today, so, it can't be taken. Uh, if uh, my lord will kindly uh, consider the urgency involved in the we matter, we have made indicate. So please don't uh, cast some members. No, 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 no. Yes. Appellate side daily list fixed at two thirty p.m. Serial number one and two. Lord, uh, and I appear for the petition. My lord, I appear for lord. item number two, my lord. The petition. Let us see the order which you pass. <laughs> Now, this repetition, this is uh, serial number two, serial number one. <laughs> Two more instruction that we Okay, I'm going to go to the next I'm going to go to the next I did not show order at point. I said, second fully also buys the regular.
Yes, the commission has filed the affidavit. We have received a copy of a report. Not in so far as the or report or affidavit. Yes, he has got copy. No, no, I we have not been served, but no, I have gotten. One no, what, yours is for that videography. Okay, and I have some we, we have got an instruction yesterday in the evening. May I hand it to you? You must kindly look into first para two. May I read it out, read it out for Mr. Dotto also? Yes. yes. May I read para 2? Following the deployment order issued by this ministry on 22nd June 2023, the State Nodal Officer for Panchayat Election in West Bengal, Sri S. C. Brakli, IG BSF Kolkata, uh, pursued with the State Election Commissioner, West Bengal, to obtain the deployment plan of the forces in various districts. The repeated pursuance was unavailing, and therefore the State Nodal Officer requested the State Election Commissioner we did such and such to furnish the deployment plan for timely inclusion, induction of the forces. Subsequently, the state election commission furnished the district wise deployment plan. We did this letter number such and such. Kindly come to the letter issued, first uh, Milan, to the state election commission on 24th June. In reply to this letter, nothing has been said to us. And what is the plan? Whether they, are, they shall be deployed in static duty or they shall be deployed in the booths, nothing has been disclosed as yet, except that a chart which has been disclosed you know, in uh, the at uh, next uh, annexure of 24th of June. This is for the district-wise placement has been reported by the election commission, chief election commission. No plan, nothing, whether they shall be deployed in static duty or they shall be in the booth booths or they shall be under whose command nothing has been disclosed and then kindly come to para six and seven of the instruction yes para six and seven with the issuance of deployment order data such and such this ministry had requested the state election commissioner and the chief secretary west bengal for basic amenities like adequate accommodation transportation pol infrastructure and other logistical arrangements for the force personnel so that they are able to discharge their duty with devotion and as per the mandate of the Honorable High Court. However, the state authorities have not intimated anything in this regard. This ministry has again requested with a letter number such and such, the State Election Commissioner West Bengal and the Chief Secretary West Bengal to ensure the necessary logistic support and also made it clear that the expenses will be borne by the Ministry of Home Affairs in terms of the direction of the Honorable High Court. It may also be mentioned that in order to Deploy 337 coins in addition to the Central Armed Forces. This ministry has requested 12 states to provide the police forces. It is also notable that the time for movement and deployment is extremely short, given the fact that the poll is scheduled on 8 July 2023. Additional forces are required to be mobilized from the states all across the country, and for that time till 8 July 2023 appears to be very short. It may also be mentioned at the cost of the petition uh, repetition that this year we have provided 337 coins to the West Bengal as against 260 coins provided in five-phase panchayat election 2023 in pursuance of the Honorable Supreme Court's direction. Therefore, we are at a loss. What is to be done? What is the deployment plan? Where they shall be deployed? This is not clarified in spite and of... There, there is no response to both the letters. Yes. No, no, only thing, the response is given to us, kindly come, the tabular, uh, the tabular form format on the next pages that this is district wise deployment of 315 coins of the no that was on 24th of june yes there is another letter attached i mean uh, sent on 27th june okay. that is yesterday in the receipt of instructions Nothing yes, to, yes 22nd june 27th. 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, the last one is 27th last one is 27th this is re written to the state election commissioner 
by the uh, director of home home ministry okay. you know if you my lord kindly look once in the list to this this is of 27 june year studies letter i am directed to inform that on the request of the state election commissioner of west bengal for deployment of forces in connection with panchayat general election 2023 in west bengal in compliance with the order of the honorable court this ministry has issued order for uh, mobilization deployment of 337 coys for panchayat and general elections in this regard it is to intimate that all the above 337 coys are being demobilized and will reach in coming days as it has been requested earlier it is again requested to ensure proper arrangements for basic amenities like adequate accommodation and such as no no reply has been given to this we have our abundant caution we have written to the chairman railway board mm. for deployment of you know, the, uh, the uh, in additional train so that they can come to west bengal this is a loss we will kindly find the, the second uh, annexia the chairman railway board on 23rd june this request was made the 23rd june letter addressed to the chairman railway board 23rd june Well, only one thing more, Milad. The state election commission is requisitioning additional force without a plan. Time and again, it has been asked for. Notal officer has been appointed. Yesterday, Milad, there was a meeting, the high-level meeting with the Home Secretary, till ten o'clock at night. And thereafter, this has been sent to me with the instruction. The notal officer has not discussed with the officials of the commission. No, notal officer. Yes, yes. No, no. You have said that the. My lord, if you, my lord, kindly come to para two, para two second line of the instruction. Following the deployment order issued by this ministry on 26 June 2023, the state noble officer for Panchayat election in West Bengal, Sri Sachin Sach, Kolkata, pursued with the state election commissioner West Bengal to obtain the deployment plan. Then what is the response, sir, Mr. Doctor is in a position to explain. What is the response? Uh... of oh, yes ji so i i have to take spot instructions right now you know uh, kindly uh, consider me lord uh, if there is any some error in uh, communicating to my lord because had uh, the learned yes ji given me this word, we are have... losing out on time yes yes well if, if the if this uh, instruction could have been forwarded to me he says that it is no, no, it's, uh, it's not that way sir yes the instruction is always with the commission It is the duty yes. of the commission to brief the senior. Right, right, right. Provided, the panel, yes, yes, absolutely, ma'am. But provided this, this issue is had application received by the additional solicitor. Yes, yes. Now, Milad, to the extent, Milad, why my, my while the learned additional solicitor general was submitting, but the instruction that I have taken within this uh, possible time is, Milad, first is. Uh, Well, in response to uh, the ministry's letter of twenty fifth of June, uh, that must be before uh, we in the. Sir, you please come to yes. page two, para six. But well, well, I don't have that. Uh, you can copy, it. sir. All this information is privy to the commission. Yes. yes. 
with the issuance of deployment order dated 20th June 20 and 22nd June, yes. this ministry has requested State Election Commission and Chief Secretary of West Bengal for basic communities like adequate accommodation, transportation, POL, infrastructure, etc., that they are able to discharge their duty. However, the state authorities have not intimated yes. anything in this regard. Yes. Ministry has again made letter dated, that is yesterday the state election commission and the so on so to ensure necessary logical support logistic support and make it clear that the expenses will be borne by the ministry yes and what is the feedback you have received e they they wanted na ei ta ta bole din 87 dan jeta jotsheb jigesh korchen tar upore bolun amar ekhon 22 hoye diyechi okay this document 27th June given to of uh, no, no, I'm sorry. Uh, Ministry has again requested with a letter of 27th June the State Election Commissioner and the Chief Secretary to ensure that necessary. Yeah. What have you informed the Ministry? Shetan Josh have a question. Even logistics. Well, there are two aspects, as I could understand. One is in respect of the deployment plan. Now, the deployment plan was given, and finally, the central government has given back this deployment plan to us. You copy this, copy this, you copy this, sir. Give me copies. Yes. 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 But I have got two copies, kindly excuse me. No, you give one copy, you retain one. Hmm. Hmm. Well, that State Election Commission kindly take me at the second page. This is dated uh, 27th of June. Both are yesterday. Uh, oh. Yes. Enclosed, this is the uh, uh, Millard, uh, central government forwarding to the state nodal officer. Yes. Deployment plan for Panchayat elections, so and so. Enclosed, please find here with the force wise deployment plan of 315 companies in 22 districts for Panchayat elections. Now, that is also requested to share the above deployment plan to the State Election Commission of West Bengal for further utilization of given coins. It is also requested to ensure adequate accommodation, transportation, logistic, other arrangements for the incoming coins. It is also say, suggested that the accommodation earmark decided may be pre checked to ensure suitability, etc. Thereafter, Miller, the last page is this is what Miller, the central government gives us. That were how is, this is to be deployed. So, Miller, in respect of the deployment, Miller, as of now, Miller, I don't think Miller, there is any uh, communication gap. This is the central government who gives. But, but you are trying to communicate only through the court. You need to be communicating among yourselves. Yes, yes. But Miller, these appears to be, Miller, uh, uh, between the. Uh, One meeting could have been convened with the nodal officer who has been appointed, namely the Inspector General Operations, CRCF yes. New Delhi, yes. as the Chief Force Coordinator. Yes. You need not go to Delhi. Now all facilities are available. One meeting could have been convened. See, once you have decided, you have taken the matter to the Apex Court, and we have recorded in the earlier order that you are going to comply with the order. Right. Please do it in its letter and spirit. We, we can't be like uh, uh, monitoring everything right, with right, the right. binocular. Millard, in fact, Millard, see, this is to aid the process. That's right, what right, right. Uh, the tenor of the order, both the orders and the order passed in the contempt application earlier was only to aid the process of election. So that order should not be frustrated. Please do something which is effective, apparently effective. The court should be convinced. The public should be convinced. Apart from the court, the public should be convinced. Right. All is going to be well. We will be taken care of.
we can go fearless to the polling booth so that assurance how do you ensure by filing affidavits and if you see this affidavit of compliance yes, it is unnecessary it is running to around 15 20 pages nobody asked the uh, uh, commission to extract all the directions etc you could have put it in a bullet put, uh, bullet point right. format right. saying that this is what has been done this is what has been done this we will do you have now said that already arrangements for cctv for orders have been issued on 226 yes. whether it has been in place yes. whether the equipments have been supplied but this will all be done millard we can assure your lordship millard millard the apprehensions will show, show something sir show something that no not to the court not to the petitioners we will discharge is a contempt proceeding yes they are after all it's between the court and the alleged contempt now yes sir so say, say something show something that the public get confidence of it that's all you have right you have nobody questions your right to file an appeal there is no yes uh, bar to that you have filed an appeal you accepted the judgment in fact the honorable supreme court has given elaborate reasons why la from yes and where will they be accommodate are are we to look into all uh, kindly millot i may only request this honorable court will not kindly do not go into all these millot these are my responsibility but it's not happening is what what's being uh, Lord, shown uh, uh, please consider one thing brother i i millot i don't want to yes. we don't want yes to. Uh, if if you had the magnanimity to accept the judgment at the first instance matter would not be there that we cannot uh, compel you to accept the judgment right because there is an avenue of appeal right. you rightfully you exercise that avenue and you joined hands with the state government and both of you went on appeal whereas scenario earlier was you went on appeal against an order of the state government wherein the state government was resisting the commission stood independently and said no we require these these directions so therefore it is not for us to see what is the mathematics etc you could just tell yesterday we had four meetings the ig met the uh, the special officer of the commission met the lo local uh, director general of police the chief secretary or deputy chief secretary or whoever it is met everything is in place this is our, the matter is over no i can only me lord we are not uh, assured this on the first appeal we are not hearing a first appeal right right do something sir so that well i can me lord only assure the lordship that me lord everything is in place with the apprehensions which my learned if your lordship may kindly oh, permit to uh, say this forget about that forget yes. it we will not turn to the right yes. we will not turn to the right well so uh this affidavit you have set out what has been done yes but whatever uh, uh, issues flagged by the asg you please address so it is very very easy to one meeting of minds is what is required hmm? all that you require is a video conferencing you hold conferences once twice half an hour 45 minutes assess the situation let us assume like 315 companies one company at the 80 people uh, active force other than that another 20 25 people drivers or people who may come along with them where are you going to accommodate them are there schools colleges uh, or uh, big halls or government accommodation transportation has to be arranged by you how to request? but everything will be done will not i do not know why the central government is so apprehensive that the state election commission is going to uh, If, suppose <laughs> yes suppose in a neighboring state requisitions your police officer will you not be concerned about your police officer right. where they stay right whether they have food to eat right whether they will have decent uh, uh, washroom facilities it is definitely their concern as it's going to be your concern in case your officer is deployed right so therefore you cannot uh, say that they need not be concerned they need to be concerned right. because they owe a duty to their force right. 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 this ig operations who is going to be the force coordinator should ensure that each jawan who is being deputed is not being inconvenienced right right so even in the in this uh, country's borders the basic facilities are being ensured apart from that of course the fury of weather etc there so therefore we are not here to do all these arithmetic no, i can only request your lordship will not kindly do not get disturbed by these Well, it, they, this will be taking a little upsetting. Right, right. See, everything has uh, actually the curtain should have been drawn by now. 
things should agree still they will have grievances i mean yes. grievances today they want to file another petition etc we said not required we will hear you now what is the broad issues one is the deployment now they are pointing out small logistics logistics that will be given we'll sort it out. yes we'll, we'll sort it out sir and the the, uh, the the report says the cameras have been ordered whether it is in place because it is uh, wiring needs to be done uh who is to monitor the cameras etc yes. there should be a control room in each yes. polling station sir that infrastructure support is not quite easy sir. it's not quite easy unless the state missionary gears up and works in tandem with you you cannot achieve it. see so you in in kolkata probably in hubli or howrah where you can easily reach there is no problem yes. if suppose it is going to be a remote district it is going to take the technical personnel 12 hours of travel or overnight train journey carrying the equipment where to install it so the district missionary should coordinate with them the technical team we have just been will not uh, verbally inform that all the dms have been already put in place for these uh, logistic and other purposes this is what i am being just uh, whispered in my, my the a responsible all officer. we required was a two page report saying that i have done this i have done this i have done this i am going to do this i am going to do this my timelines are 48 hours 72 hours 24 hours this are could not be done for this reason but we will endeavor to do it this need cannot be done that's all short right. list of dates matter is over yes yes i i don't I, require i i can well appreciate me what is uh, falling from your lot sir and all these annexures what is it sonal why waste of paper Yes, these annexures are all. We have got all these annexures here. Uh, your your report could have started from uh, page number nine, para thirteen. In yes. fact, this submission of learned senior advocate has been recorded by us, hmm? yes. and we said that uh, because their argument itself was time is the essence. So when do we compute the delay? three orders of merged merged with the order of the honorable supreme court action has been initiated immediately on uh, on 20th of june on the same day on same day so whether it should be cumulative whether we need to say that the time starts running then should you have done and uh, whether if that interpretation is given can it be said that your right of appeal will stands abrogated all those issues so those things yes so it requires only four four sheets or five sheets of paper so far as uh, cctv footage you have said that you have placed yes, have orders placed hmm? already ordered on 9623 cct surveillance outside so on so on so district uh, acc has issued direction to district panchayat election officers to preserve the video so the thing is on 9th of june it has been done no issues what was done till yesterday i have done this i have instructed my dms to do this my district panchayat election officers they have done this this so many cameras have been requisitioned and it has been installed process of installation is going on testing will be done on this day matter is over so you can't be heard to say that till the morning of 8 to till 6 am i'll be doing up things But see once these people can't be left inside the polling booth these technical fellows are technical the people who install they all have to be cleared yes yes like like before the flight takes off the ground personnel has ah, to be everybody is sent out but so I, they I, say I, they use the term deep plane yes <laughs> that literally means get out yes so you need to say uh, in their language uh, what do you say uh, you make the area sterile you don't have a cas of cover here in my yes. parent high court there is a cas of cover only two high courts in the country one is delhi high court another is madras high court so they call it sterile zone state police have got no role inside the sterile zone except our uh, security officers will walk in and walk out otherwise state police have got absolutely no control over the sterile zone so right from the entry pass to uh, monitoring the i mean the attendance booth everything is with cas so therefore uh... miller i have i can only tell you a lot similar 
kindly leave it to the wisdom of the state election commission true true yes you know you we, yes. we are here to record your submission yes yes bring it on rock that is why we just don't say heard mr dotto no concerns <laughs> because the people need to know unless it's black and white how do they uh, uh, proceed so as you rightly observed by senior advocate these are all beyond the pale of the jurisdiction of the court but once again with the risk of repetition or cost of repetition please ensure that the public the confidence of the public is rest with the commission that's all I mean, it goes without saying uh, that needs to be assured Will you do a, whatever you want you know the constitutional you... court i can only pray this a constitutional court may repose trust and faith on are, another constitutional are. authority that is why we are keeping the matter we have not done anything yes. even for mr mazmundar's request to renew his earlier prayer he said we cannot do it we have rejected it by an order that order stands confirmed do not at that right. instance so can we review that order this is a question so i said and we said unless an affidavit is fine now one more prayer they are from we are resisting them from filing the petition whatever is we said we will hear the counsel or is the senior who is going to appear we will hear a deployment of ncc you have said should not be done have the dms followed it was there a feedback see when uh, uh, always when you say that please do that and file a report Right. and that compliance report has come from 22 districts they have done that they have ensured that no ncc no paralegal uh, uh, i mean uh, what is it called contractual employees and no that uh, what is that police civic volunteer yes. that civic volunteer not at all his cost is taken care his cost will be taken care this is the orders place for cctv um, and then uh, for video coverage so many cameras will be put in place So equipment is there. Then safety. Who will be the vendor? Who will be doing the videography? Then his identity, everything, and you have to give him an identity card, his credentials, probably a short police verification, whether that fellow had a some uh, antecedent earlier. It's a big exercise, sir. It's a big exercise. Yes, yes. But the 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 compliances are in process. In process, coming from the uh, districts. For example, please take me to pages ninety-seven, ninety-nine, and hundred and one of the affidavit. The apropos, Miller, what has fallen from the bench? and uh, if this was the direction issue obviously the dms or the yes now dm will come feedback means these feedbacks are coming uh, that should be that monitoring should be yes yes gross violation of the law sir no it should be brought to the notice of the commission then what you can do is ask the all the bar no no ask all the bar associations in the state to give all uh, names of lawyers who will be willing to ऑफिसर यू सर it is more effective than than seeing your uh, 300 page of petition you will be more effective making some submission than your 300 page petition. we will record we will permit you to interview in fact it makes things easier last time also we all and sweeper is a fourth polling officer 
can please give us a copy also and all these things show that the commission is not prepared to conduct the election not all these exercises ought to have been taken at the stage of declaration of election no no we are hearing one repetition no? <laughs> to declare it as void remove the state election commission part third matter still going on but apropos the compliance report filed today before your lordship's court i can show not further and aggravated act of contempt it's well accepted to say that the commission is trying but trying trying and trying to render the process infructuous so and suppose to... you require some direction to aid this process mr bandopadhyay is not here who will appear for the state i think in this uh, no he said he will be here by 2 in fact i we came late because he will come by 2:30 at the khobar di da hey yeah probably there may be some aberration in a couple of uh, districts that exercise we will direct no, we we'll undertake will whatever but one or two instances my learned friends are miller no, yeah. yes. it cannot be that miller day by majority sir please there are 80 so far as we are concerned there are 80 with us 80. 80 80 please hand it over to us 100 180 yes. 200 let us yes. take that 200 people they have made this plan to deploy all the civic volunteers they are giving the instructions to the police that on that day you are required to be on duty but they, they will give you the instructions they will uh, i mean wear the police uniforms yes, yes. they are doing it and lot of it is happening this election commission but somebody should take responsibility of this submission this is this is below the photograph they are showing we can't examine yes. sir we can't ask your client to get into the box yes. so these are all facts you have brought on record we place it to the commission and the commission should because the judgments have attained finality they will comply yes, yes, yes. so we give them the direction we will see can you see this order lot of despite of this uh, order of this high court the uh, officer in charge traffic control room kolkata has issued this notification where this says that civic volunteers are required home guard and lady civic volunteers each of these are available no no to perform law and order duty law and order i will say law and order duty law and order duty see already the dgp has passed an order they should not be here but they can regulate the crowd outside when the queue is being formed this is the law and order duty they have been deployed if that is so but state government uh, yes sir your dgp should be called here i'm not get that sir on 13th you give one copy to on 13th the commission had filed an unsigned report before your lordship i believe not that is also with the record so today the commissioner himself has signed the affidavit yes now not please compare these two reports they copy the judge said no this may be a little marked not can you see 13th we list the matter on monday by then you bring out a concise compliance and this may be asked to be withdrawn mm -hmm. because as per the judgment they cannot be in law and order probably for regulating the crowd even when we come in the road the civic volunteers will be near the pedestrian crossing where the drop gate is put to i have understood otherwise fellow will take the motorcycle underneath one lady will try to cross the road so the main traffic police will be on the road and he will be on the corner so i give you a lot of no, example I frequently uh, i am caught by the civic volunteers for no. violating traffic and i am told come to the 
inspector who is standing over there. But, uh, is, they aid Millard in the functioning of the police. And they will stand near the bus stops. Yes, yes. So that the commuters don't come to the road. Yes. And they stay inside the bus shelter on the pavement. As soon as the bus comes, I, I, you, you see that in Chingrigata uh, Junction, I, every day, because so many people will be coming. All, they, they try to stop them. The, and they put this one uh, barrier is crossed. Uh, drop gate is there. Mm. And there will be two civ civic volunteers mm. uh, to ensure that nobody ducks under the <laughs> gate and goes. So at the moment the signal is clear, they open the gate. Yes, yes. That uh, the, the rope is released. The rope is released. But, uh, may I just, uh, I have to, I will take instruction. Um, uh, your Lord is uh, observing regarding the general law and order. General law and order, not the no, this no, not no. the election part. This, this one, this one alone, you take instruction. Yes, but Miller, the I tell you, let's see one thing: that a constable can perform. There's no difficulty. Oh, obviously, sir, he is a policeman. I say, Miller, home guard volunteer. Home guard is a under the different act discharging. We are with regard to civic policy. Only policy. Well, Is been published in the WhatsApp. Why you put it on interestingly, WhatsApp? Is, interestingly, is interestingly is possible. Right? Interestingly, it is there. Miller, right? ladies civil, ladies civil volunteers. Because ladies required. police forces are not. There. You should require. You should recruit. Lady, ladies civil volunteers. And the number of uh, lady lawyers also have to increase in Calcutta High Court. That right. should be in all over India. That's the one of my point, Millard. What is the highest strength of lady judges in the Calcutta High Court? Yes. How, what is the earlier it was Madras? Now no no. no, no. I think presently what? it is the oh, highest. Justice Indira. Present uh, is the highest. When my Lord Justice Indira Banerjee was the uh, Chief Justice of the Madras High Court, that time uh, that time Madras yes. was yes. Now Calcutta High Court. And no such information like polling station are not decided till now. No, if suppose uh, they have created a WhatsApp group for all the polling officers, that they can post it. It is. This is creation. But I have not followed what is no, the. No, what he says is the entire data of the officers' requisition for the polling duty yes. has been uh, sent by, by WhatsApp, which includes his bank account number, other details, email account, phone number. You won't check. Sure. And I just need to not show to your lordship not page 52 of the compliance report file yes. today. Mm. Not your lordship will consider, kindly consider this and not. Wait, wait, sir. Sir, this is not an aggravated act of contempt and warranting. Not all 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 right, sir. Who's on that? Everything is aggravated only. What to do? I see by the government of India to product software. Hmm. Probably we will have to shift it to hmm. number 18, Sarojini Naidu, Sarin, from here to there. No, or call him here. What is it going to be? Let him explain. Not like PCP 52. Not in this way, not this way. your lordship's order is being made, rendered unworkable. That we will take care. Mm -hmm. One thing, this is the period how you have crossed 21st June 23 to 27th June. You June get instructions, yes. sir. If there is nobody behind you to instruct, because our policeman is not there. I'll, 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 uh, in regard to the grievance of Mr. Bose, I have taken instruction. Uh, but the NIC has created a software for the deployment of these people. Where, Millard, we have to upload all these. All right, don't uh, do it in the public domain. That is his grievance. You have you have this data, which this is very vital data. Right. You have the data for the commission. Probably you have to share it with the within district, the district polling officer. You share it with him. And all in sundry can't be having this. Today, Millard, everything is possible. Your Lordship keeps. Did you keeps... see a disclaimer which we have added now? But I, I, I'll give you a Lordship an example. Your Lordship keeps your mobile phone switched off. Still, it can record. Take out the SIM. Take out the battery if your phone is of that nature. Still, I can generate a uh, call SMS yes. 
from your phone and send yes, it to yes. so these we can't prevent this these are the necessary hazards today no no who has done it at least you should have a tab on that yes definitely the commission should know that that that, that information are not percolated to the public at large true in fact we have added a disclaimer for trial basis that uh, what they do is they put a camera in front of the live streaming capture the video and put it on some tv channel with some distorted because our voices are muted some two people are talking yes, i didn't know some I, somebody told me two people are talking as if we have decided this we have told that we have told this etc so we have uh, made a disclaimer in terms of the uh, central rules which have been formed that no part of that uh, should be reproduced it's running as a scroll even during recess time you can see you have seen the yellow yellow band but yes. all all systems have some pitfalls definitely sir like but every day we are in the now the reality show yes <laughs> every moment but i was so telling no, about mr bandupat he is always there no yes he is in very various yes uh, yes this reality then the problem problem of reality show is different that is there If... <laughs> sir you better cooperate with the commission yes yes under 110% or 200% yes, yes. cooperation if you don't cooperate Brother, then I, there will be I very have... very difficult Brother, is there any complaint that yes I have... yes they require your support 100% support Brother. you please uh, ask your people to hold video conferencing meeting or go to this number 18 sarojini naidu sir and uh, meet with the commission because he will be busy commissioner will be busy he will assign an officer sort out issues it should be meetings 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 then only you will be able to sort my lord, my lord. because of the uh, yes. entire uh, you have chosen to notify poll yes in one stage not in five phases as you did earlier my lord in a single phase my lord. so therefore preparedness logistic support the entire support from the state missionary is a sine qua non Yes, there can be no acceptable. compromise on acceptable acceptable please see not the situation which prevailed on 13 june not as projected before lord lordship scout by the commission internal page to i just read it for your lordship regarding deployment of central paramilitary force meeting on assessment of deployment of forces was taken by the commissioner on 9th june 2023 with the chief secretary and the director general of police an assessment plan by the state will be submitted in due course which will be reviewed by the commission yes, for sir, taking appropriate decision we have noted this submission we are recording uh, please see not page 52 of the affidavit uh, file today today not we are on 28 Yes, paragraph four on that page. Hmm. Sensitive areas should be properly identified based on the guidelines of the commission, which inter area include past history, present situation, voter turnout percentage, multiple polling stations in a single premise, and the forces be deployed according so that the forces could be utilized to their optimum level. The DMs, CPs, and SPs shall maintain strict vigil over the law and order situation, respond to all complaints immediately, and take all necessary actions for a free, fair, and peaceful poll. It's nothing more than lip service. This was on twenty second of June. Please note into paragraph two of that page. The commissioner stressed upon the immediate need to formulate a proper All plan right. for the effective use of the CAPF. Nothing has been done. Ninth to twenty eighth. Uh, reference may be made to the order dated twenty three six twenty twenty three, by which we directed the state election commission to answer the prayers made by the. applicant on on merits without raising any technical objection um as the earlier orders passed by this court are incident and ancillary to each other and the object of behind passing such order is to ensure free and fair election and to preserve the purity of the election process in terms of the directions issued uh affidavit of compli on compliance on behalf of the west bengal state election commission sworn to by the state election commissioner has been filed along with annexures we find the affidavit to be verbose which could have been avoided the court in its orders in the three earlier orders as well as in the order dated 236 2023 had clearly delineated delineated the 
parameters which are to be adhered to therefore all that was required by the commission is to answer those queries in a precise format rather than to a uh, precise format be that as it may come on uh, the uh, we be that as it may we proceed to take note of certain submissions which were made during the uh, during the hearing conducted today the learned additional solicitor general had produced a copy of a letter addressed to him by the director within bracket personnel come a ministry of home affairs new delhi dated 27 6 um, in the said letter it has been noted it has been mentioned that to oversee timely induction of forces from various parts of the country in a short period of time the ministry has appointed inspector general within bracket operations comma crpf comma new delhi as chief force coordinator and such appointment was made on 22nd june 2023 in paragraph 6 uh, and 7 certain concerns have been expressed by the by the central government which needs to be taken serious note of by the state election commission in the said paragraphs it has been pointed out by the central government that there has been no intimation from the state authorities with regard to providing basic amenities for the forces which will be deployed that is uh, forces in the reply, deployed uh, that is in response to the deployment order dated 20th june and 22nd june 2023 it appears that on 27th june 2023 the ministry has again addressed the state election commission uh, therefore it is submitted that a necessary um if uh, no this uh, submitted that effective steps to need to be taken by the uh, state election commission so as to facilitate the deployment of forces and to ensure that their uh, the ensure that all basic amenities are provided with to the forces which are being deployed the learned senior advocate appearing for this election commission has uh, also has, has produced a copies of the letter written by the force coordinator Uh, uh dated 27th june 2023 uh and the dig operations also dated 27th june 2023 uh enclosing the district wise deployment for panchayat elections in west bengal comma 2023 um in our view comma the 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 orders passed by this court having attained finality uh comma having been confirmed by the honorable supreme court there is a, there is a solemn duty cast upon the state election commission as well as the state government to scrupulously obey the orders and directions contained in those orders including the observations made by the honorable supreme court we are not here to advise the state election commission about the nitty gritties of how the, and in what manner uh, the election commission will take forward uh, the directions issue all that we can <clears throat> remind the commission is to state that the commission should function in such a manner that that the people the, that the uh, the the uh, the public of the state of west bengal uh, get confidence with the commission and are rest assured that the there will be free and fair elections and the purity of the election process will be preserved it has been highlighted that uh, in spite of the orders passed by this court not to deploy um, uh, uh, contractual staff um, um, uh, civic volunteers etc there have been several instances Uh, where this order has been flouted mr so and so learned advocate appearing for what is the name of your client no no name you write down client's name 
i'm uh, appearing for so and so whom you write and give it you write in a paper and give it uh, appearing for so and so whom we have uh, permitted to intervene in the proceeding submitted that there are more than 100 cases where such uh, such uh, such persons have been uh, posted as polling officers second polling officers etc the learned advocate appearing for the contempt applicant also submits that he has got a list of 80 such names therefore we have direct the state election commission to immediately uh, verify the, the same and if there has been any violation of the orders and directions issued by this court in the matter of uh, deployment of the um, staff for election duty all those which are in violation and contrary to the directions shall forthwith be rectified and the compliance report be called for from the respective district panchayat election officer by the state election commission full stop with regard to the installation of cctv cameras and videographing we find that the compliance report which has been filed more particularly the observations in paragraph 19 are not satisfactory the uh, the report only states about the order which has been passed for enforcing the installation of cctv cameras and for making arrangements for videography but there is that uh, but the report is the but the report is silent as to what is the feedback pursuant to the orders passed by the commission in fact a report in the nature of a compliance report should for, should specifically state that and therefore we are not inclined to accept uh, the submissions made by the commission in paragraph 19 uh as as has been observed by us repeatedly come on confidence is being reposted on the commission and uh, nothing should be done to the to any manner shake the confidence which was placed which was reposted on the commission full stop the uh, learned advocate appearing for one of the interveners submitted that civic volunteers were not, uh, uh, were uh, prohibited from uh, being engaged in law and order duties in fact in the first uh, first uh, in fact in the order passed in the first writ petition first set of writ petitions the proceedings of the direct general of police was referred to which clearly prohibits deployment of civic volunteers for law and order duties therefore uh, the uh, no not therefore this order was placed on record and direction was issued therefore uh, the full stop the copy of the uh, information secured by the intervenor has been handed over to the learned senior advocate appearing for the state of west bengal who is directed to get instruction in the matter and if there is any violation of the order the same shall stand should be immediately rectified and compliance report be submitted uh, uh, to the court on the next hearing date with the above observations come on we adjourn the matter uh, no we direct the matter to be listed uh, on uh, monday hmm? that will be 3rd july right. on 3rd july at 2:30 pm hmm? and uh, yeah compliance report be uh, and a further complaint no and uh, and a report be filed uh, and a report be filed uh, uh, by the election commission as well as by the appropriate authority of the state government full stop during the course of uh, hearing the matter we have impressed upon the learned senior advocate appearing for the state of west bengal that it is the bounded duty of the state of west bengal to extend the fullest cooperation to the state election commission so as to aid them so, so as to uh, ensure that free and fair elections are conducted in the state so um, therefore there should be constant interaction between the uh, uh, top level officers of the state 
with that of the officers of the commission so that all issues are sorted out among the authorities and uh, uh, authorities leaving no room for any complaint. List the matter on 3rd July. Pleasure. Thank you. Let us see. Thank you. Two directions on us. Two directions on us. Two directions. You have to. I will take it. You have to partner. Unless you partner, it cannot happen. I, it's all corporations we are making. I don't know what what this is coming. Yeah, sure. Let us first start this. Lordship, uh, item number. <laughs> I, unfortunately, we are not able to travel beyond item six. Well, that. I, your your item number is single digit. Well, no, I, I hope that, that bench will not sit now or three thirty. No, no, that can't. No. You have passed resolution. Lordship, uh, Lordship, item number six of today's list, Lordship. This is a separate matter, Lordship, uh, regarding the civic volunteers. The detail uh, next year, sir. Can be a common order, Lordship. There can be a common order. It can be a common order. So it can be taken up together, and I will uh, I will give a copy to Mr. Bombay. Ah, yes, that we didn't say. Sir, sir, please come. The It can be item number seven also. It can be. However, seven. item number six deals with the general law and order situation, not only the... Then we will not club your mind. Uh, uh, it, it, it has been uh, submitted by the item six. No, what is it? Uh, item number six. Civic volunteers. Civic volunteers. Oh, this bench can't be. All right, doesn't matter. Uh, what is the name of your petition? No, 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 United I'm just telling you. Uh, uh, Sons Association had filed a separate petition, which is uh, being heard by another division bench. The learned advocate seeks permission to intervene in the proceedings to highlight a very important point, namely that the entire personal details of all the officers who have been deputed for election duty is now being widely publicized in various social media. It is submitted by the learned advocate that not only the name, the name of the concerned person, the name of the employer, the other details, the bank account details, phone number, residential address, email ID, etc. It is the learned senior advocate appearing for the state election commission submitted that the National Informatics Center within bracket NIC has developed a module mm -hmm. for the purpose of uh, um, um, streamlining the data. However, if, if, uh, if such data has been collected, the, the, the State Election Commission should ensure uh, that the privacy of the individuals who have been deployed for election duty is not in any manner affected. The um, report to be filed by the State Election Commission shall also address this issue. Thank you.